So I um, I was playing D and D last night, and I, at some point I randomly came up with the the name some, uh, stuck in the middle with users, and I didn't know what to do for a thumbnail for that. So I I looked up like I looked up stuck in the middle with you, and apparently this the, the thumbnail that you clicked on that that is the apparently the album cover minus Sans Bear, um, uh, for the album that that song comes from. And I was thinking, like, should I put, like, Sonic Sega Gamer's head on, you know, one of their bodies or something? I'm, I'm just gonna show you this thumbnail again, though. This is the album cover. Look at this fucking- look at these guys. These are used- I didn't need to change anything. That guy up there is, like, a sex weirdo. He's up to something. And then this one, he's like- he's like an incel. He's a- I, there's two down here, by the way, that are also incel. In fact, I'm also- the bear is covering up a guy who looks like George Costanza. This is a great album cover. This was this was destined to be. Anyways, um, uh, 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 music. Show time, da.
Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome. It is now stream o'clock. Uh, All right, now it's time to begin. Uh, hello, everybody. Uh, I don't know how long we'll go for today, just for a little while. I got a podcast later, so... Uh, uh, fun news, by the way, if you're into the Loud Equals Funny podcast, we're apparently going to be doing it on video from now on. Uh, Tristan got a camera. Bane's getting a new camera. I already have a camera. Uh, <laughs> I don't think any of us are going to look super great. It's not going to look very cool like the Collider podcast, but, you know, it'll get the job done, probably. Um, uh, Tristan's room is blue. My room will be, like, red, or maybe I'll have the, the strobes going. It'll be, like, a, a, a clown room. It'll be great. It'll be great. Uh, so stick around. I don't know if that'll be this episode or the next one, but that's 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 coming. The advent is almost here. Uh, loud equals funny podcast. Check it out. But, uh, yeah, we're here today. Uh, we're, we're here today and gone tomorrow, man. And, uh, today, I don't have any real, you know, theme or anything. Uh, I say in the title, stuck in the middle with users, and then in brackets, suggestions. Because, like, really, the user streams are also suggestion streams. I mean, let's not brook any foolishness here. I, I try to differentiate them with, like, this is a stream where you suggest things. And then I do a user stream. And most of the stream is just people going, hey, you should check out this, and me going, okay. So, you know, it's fine. Uh, <laughs> it's uh, it's uh, user suggestion o'clock. If you got suggestions for users, go for it. Uh, and user is a pejorative for Patrick Tomlinson, you know, Chris Chan, anyone we might look at. Anyone we could potentially look at really qualifies on some level as a user. But then there are some. Yesterday we found the proto-user. I don't know. It's not the one that from which all other users stem. But it's a, it was a real, it, we took us like a half an hour to determine that this was most likely a real human being and not just a funny troll. Um, a lot of people in the chat were probably there for it, but it was, he kept, he literally kept saying user, like every other sentence. This user, that user, just user, uh, the, the, a different May user was one thing he said, like, he just put it in every sentence. We found, it, and he and he was in, in many other ways also a user. He said opinion bashing. He uh, he had a bunch of his name was what was it again? Does anybody remember the full name? Because it was ridiculous. It was the long. It was one of the longest names. It was probably right up to the character limit. It was like that guy in chat whose name is like Star Wars Xbox Ghidorah fan nineteen ninety seven or whatever. Uh, much longer than that, but yeah, uh, it was, it was quite something. And, uh, so that's like, that's, that's, that's qu a high quality user level user, but you know, anybody that you, that you have in mind is uh, potentially, uh, worthwhile and valid. Um, he was the Tulpa we made. Yeah. Yeah. He, we, he's like Titus from FF10. We all dreamed him into being or something. I still don't know what happened in that game, because Nomura wrote it, or I guess. Uh, yeah. Um, just, I like Alan Sampson just says the word user. Um, Skyler Kingery. All right. I saw you mention that. In order to stop you from spamming it further, I guess I'll look into that one. Sure. What's this one? Well, this could be something. This could be something. Um, it's always interesting when somebody suggests something and I look them up and if their name actually comes up in the, like, search predictions, this, in this case it did, um, I, I can't imagine there was much else that would have come after SKYY, because there's two Ys, uh, but yeah, it, it did, it did bring up Skylar Kingery, and I don't know what that indicates, maybe they're popular, well not really, there's other people that we look at that, uh, this is, a uh, 3,000 subs, over 3,000, over 500 videos, and uh, I don't know if I'm in Metfees is here, but I think people might really enjoy this who uh, who like kaiju. You know, the Godzilla Xbox fan might might enjoy this, um, because this is apparently a a kaijuzer. This is a um, so so I guess they have like they have like uh, Godzilla OCs or something. Zilla Dominion full movie. Uh, this one. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Microsoft Threat Detector. It's awesome. Thank you. Windows Security. Windows Security is on the case. Great. Uh, with Zilla Dominion. Uh, full movie. This one's got this one's got some views uh, from a year ago, and uh, this person's been going for a little while. 
Skyzilla here. Um, Zilla Dominion. Let's let's check it out. Uh, I enjoy this film is not for children and fanboys. Oh, all right, all right. Um, well, I mean, we're all man children here, and fanboys possibly also that. So children and fanboys stay out. Thank you and enjoy film. Um, you know, I like Godzilla. I mean, I am a fanboy. What do you mean by fanboy? Wouldn't a fanboy be the people that made this? Skyler Kingery. Is that the name of your Godzilla? I, that's not a very good Godzilla name, really. So this is probably music that's going to get me blocked by Toho or something, so that's neat. You start the stream with a little red vox to avoid the th to avoid copyright. You know, because Vinny's cool about that, but, uh, but here's some... Probably some... Maybe it's like copyright-free Kevin MacLeod, you know, uh, uh, music. It's, it's copyright-free Kevin MacLeod Godzilla mu music, maybe. I don't know. I don't think so. I think this is probably from a movie. Why are we in? Oh no. Wait, so this is based on the fucking 1998 shitty Godzilla? Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Um, I mean, yeah, I guess I actually come to think of it, this, this channel here. I think it is a little bit more, well, no, Legendary Goji over here. I guess there's other ones, but they do seem to really like the Zilla one. They made a whole thing about Zilla. This is a full movie. It's 14 and a half minutes. And for those that don't know, this is the one, this is the version of Godzilla they made in the, the original really bad American Godzilla movie. There's some better American Godzilla movies now. I think there's one in theaters even, but, uh. This is like the one from the one, that's a lot of fish, you know, a Matthew Broderick. It has like most of the cast of the Simpsons for some reason, that movie. Uh, it's a, it's a very bad movie. And, uh, and famously this version of Godzilla showed up in the Japanese produced Godzilla final wars, uh, in which he was terrorizing, I think Sydney, Australia, and then real Godzilla shows up and he kill he like kicks his ass in a single tail swipe. It's it's great. He's also animated horribly in CG like they did in the the, the uh, 98 movie instead of being a guy in a suit. So it, it just looks disgusting and it's supposed to. It's it's wonderful. Also that movie's main sound uh main theme song is made by um is made by uh, Keith Emerson. So that is just the best Godzilla movie. Fuck you. Uh <laughs> Maybe this will be a better Godzilla movie! Okay, this is obscenely loud. Holy fuck. Oh, he's gonna do the... Uh, it's the atomic breath! He did it! Oh no! Our weapons are useless! Well, nothing can stop him. It's Zilla! Guys, it's 1998 Zilla! They're hopeless to stop him! Is the greatest threat mankind has ever faced. They even made another joke in one of the other Godzillas between... I think it was be between 98 and Final Wars, which was 2004. It was one of the ones between then made in Japan, I think. Where they made a joke about, like... Yeah, they thought they saw something like Godzilla over in New York, but... Uh, we have our doubts. And it was like, yeah, yeah, so do we. Don't worry, so do we, so do we. We do too. I'm with you. I, who's the dude in the right corner? That's Neil. That's Neil Mohan. He's here to watch us and make sure that nothing bad happens on YouTube. He's he's the he's the Neil he's the Neil Mohan, the CEO of YouTube. It's it's not Kurt. People still people still slander Susan as if she even still fucking works there. It's not even Susan's bag anymore. It's Neil. It's all about it's it's everything according to Neil. So. I hate those humans. Oh, good. We're gonna have voice acting, everybody. Here, here. I thought it was just gonna be a kaiju film with, 
like MS Paint action. Nope, there's voice acting. Ah, I hate those humans after three months. Oh well, time to get to work. Huh. Apparently, Glarn Bowden with ten bucks. Oh my God, I know this guy. They're part of a huge group of users on DeviantArt, and I have some stories to tell about them and their bull. Now, do you mean like someone who fucks their wives, or or you mean their bullshit? I don't know what you mean by that, but. Thank you very much. You know, I can heart these. Can I? What does that do? There you go. I hearted your thing. I, I just noticed I can do that. Thank you. Uh, you, you just got a heart out of it. Thank you. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, uh, be, be sure to spill and chat. I'll be I'll be reading uh, while I watch this. Is he at the Godzilla Club? What the fuck is happening now? Okay, so we went from... I really did think this might have just been a normal kind of Godzilla fan production where it's like he just terrorizes jpegs of a city or something you know and, and like but now we're in like we're in like deborah from yakuza 1 we're we're in we're in some kind of thumping oons 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 club he's gonna get a fucking gin and tonic you know hold the tonic and, and what is he doing is he here to conduct business with the mob my dr pepper oh it's Just a, a dr pepper hey hey hey, hey. no throw things in my bar okay I don't know what's hap I, I don't know what's happening. There's now multiple Zillas and there's a civilization. Boy, I'm so exhausted. And they speak, of course. Good. Beat it. Oh. Wow, that's exact. That is a visual representation of how regular Godzilla beat American '98 Godzilla in that movie that I mentioned. That is actually basically what just happened there. That's that's pretty funny. Ah, much better. Hey, Dad. You... Oh, it's his chair. I think this is his chair. He's sitting in his recliner. Dad, what dinner we're going to have tonight? Ah, I'll just order some pizza like always. Okay, Dad. Okay, Dad. I don't know if that was even supposed to be actually a reference. It probably is if this person... It's weird because the video starts out with no fanboys or children. No vibes, no Beavis. And, uh... You know, I mean, I, I think that if you know about that, you're kind of a bit of a fanboy. I mean, I, I maybe it means, like, Jeffy fanboys. Maybe it, it doesn't spe specify, like, anything related to Godzilla. They, he could be talking about, like, Undertale fanboys. You know, I wouldn't want them here either. Okay, so I'm, I gotta read up on Glarn's comments here. Hang on, hang on. So, um... Um, as in their bullshit, right. Let me, uh... Let me reload live chat here. Um, yeah, the guy they credit for it, Nicholas Dodge. He's a huge creep who's been active on DA for the better part of a decade. Um, so yeah, then someone comes along saying, this is wholesome, I won't lie. Well, uh, is it? I don't know. Uh, huge creep, you say. They have this huge autism verse with a ton of characters made directly based off of God, uh, himself and his family. So, Nicholas Dodge, including, again, infant niece. Ah. Ah. Ah, 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 I never, it literally, it just never, it just literally never ends, chat. It just literally never ends. Why does it just never end? Why is this the theme of the 2020s? Why is this the theme of the stream? What's, why? Why? <sighs> Zilla was a big girl. That's right. Um. Um, oh, he then drew a ton of porn of the infant niece, you say. I, I see, I see. Hang on just a second. Hang on just a... Mashup guy. We've seen a lot of Hotel Mario. Ah! Ah! The game itself is still ah! horrible, as we see. Oh, those creative, well-made mashups? Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right, um, and then tried to delete and pretend it never existed when he got called out for it. All right, all right. <laughs> Let me see here. Let me see. Scroll back up. Scroll back up. Um, thank you, Glarn, again for your information here. Uh, is there? Is there? Is there more? There are a bunch of other shit they've done, but while drawing a ton of porn based on your IRL relatives kind of takes priority over being a tracer. What about being an opinion basher? That's equal. We know that's equal. <laughs> 
We know that's at least equal, if not worse. Uh, no, you're you're right. You're you're probably right. There's there's probably other things. Uh, yeah, Nick M asks with member for two months. By the way, is this user the opinion basher? You know, and really, I have to ask: Were we all the opinion basher all along? I don't know. I don't know, chat. It really makes you think. It really makes you think. I thought it was wholesome, but God, it gets horrible. That's right, dude. The, dude, the ninja. It does. It does get horrible. <laughs> Well, thank you again, Glarn, for, for enlightening us. <laughs> I appreciate it. Let's continue with, with that knowledge under our belt. Let's continue. Your pizza is here, sir. What the camera? Why are you working at Domino's? Well, it's hard nowadays for being the most hated kaiju, so Domino's is the only place Oh, there's they... no way he's more hated than Zilla. Let's be fucking real here. Domino's is the only thing... I don't know, I don't... Who is this guy? It's hard. I don't even recognize this guy. Your pizza is here, sir. What the camera? Why are you working oh. at Domino's? Yeah, what? I mean, I have a hot... I, I don't... I have a hard time believing it's hated more than Zilla, honestly. Zilla represents more than whatever this guy fucking- He is ugly. What did they just put a pug on, like, a gorilla? What the fuck is this thing? I mean, this is very stupid, but there's a lot of them that are pretty stupid, so, like, you know. It's hard nowadays for being the most hated kaiju, so Domino's is the only place- Wait, is that... this Gamera? No, this isn't Ga- Gamera is like a big turtle. That's not Gamera. Hire me. Uh-huh. Gabara. Keep the change. A Say, cat ogre. Is this a cat? Uh, uh, okay. Care lad. Gabura? Pizza's here, Godzuki. That's that's not Gamera. There's no way that I don't know. Gamera's like a big turtle. Maybe that's Gamera without his fucking shell. I I don't know. I kind of doubt it. He said like Gabara or something. Yeah, I think it's that yes, one. Yes, master. You have been trained very well after my. Shark off whispering on your bingo. I guess I should do the bingo. I'll, I'll do the bingo here. Hang on. It's I'm, I'm good to do bingo today. Yesterday I was a little tired. Today I'm rejuvenated. I'm energized. I can do a bingo. Let me, uh... Let me, uh... Move to new window. Let's go for bingo. Bingo this. Um, user who? That's what we're on today. It's user who, everybody. Grab that bingo. Grab that bingo. Where is it? What happened to it? Oh, fuck. Okay, it's like buried somewhere. There you go. Um, user who? And uh, I'll share that bingo with everyone. You want it, friend? It's yours. Grab yourself a bingo, friend. Take it. It's yours. Um, pin that bingo. Take that bingo. Grab that bingo. Click on that bingo. Have that bingo. Let's do a bingo. Um, this user. I don't have any whispering on mine. That's a shame. Um, but, like, what are we at so far? We, you know, well, red flags from what Glarn has said. Uh, let's see. Adult child friendship. Well, maybe not. I don't know about friendship. Uh, uh, sexist. Ominous silence or long... No, 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 no. I'm thinking an ominous past. Mysterious ominous past. Fake crying, unflattering angle. Well, that, that one kaiju was pretty ugly. Does that count? Insane recording method. Threatens violence. Fatherless behavior. That's just like a free space, really. Didn't ask. Uh, I'm autistic. Uh, lo- no lobster font yet. Complaining about old media. I guess ca- technically, kind of. I mean, there's probably some complaints about old Godzilla movies somewhere here. Mom present? No. One user, multiple characters, probably. I'm assuming he has done some of the, uh, a few of the voices here. Like this one main guy. Uh, but I guess it is a group of people, so probably not all of them. But I'll, I'll assume he's probably done a couple. Um, si- simulated, I'm going with simulated insanity. I think I'm going with simulated insanity. I think I'm good with that. That's, I feel, I feel, I feel right. I feel right. I feel right, Brian. I feel right. You mean that I'm ready? As you wish. Yeah, yeah, a, a bear bash bingo for when I do the, you know. 
<laughs> you know, one of those. That that does that that would be good. That does happen pretty frequently because, as we know, loud does equal funny. Ugh. Man, I'm so tired. I'm glad it's Saturday. Morning, Dad. What's breakfast what we're going to have today? Ugh. Shut up, Godzuki. You're being too loud. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dad. <laughs> so knowing what we know about this guy and his uh, his child family members, you know, this it's a little less wholesome now. I don't know. When will that kid ever grow up? He always gets on my nerves. Oh well, time to make breakfast. <laughs> Why dad always hate me? I haven't done anything to him! <laughs> I'm not salty about the BBB. I just can't take part in it because it would be heavily narcissistic. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm giving, I'm saying, I'm agreeing. That's, I do, I do, do. <laughs> I do. Okay. No, 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 okay. You see, the problem is I try to press it to stop it and then that actually triggers it to just do... Like extra ones, so it just does extra. You know what I need to do? I need to change the air horn for a Vuvuzela. That that would be great. And it, no, I don't know if anybody remembers the Vuvuzelas, but I really. I, last night in D D uh, D and D, I had a uh, I had a, a a play where we were surrounded by big wolves, you know, really big dire wolves or whatever. And I uh, I used the horn of invin of invisibility, and then in brackets loud, because when you blow into the horn, you're invisible. But it makes a really loud sound, so I just I just decided in my head that it's the vu, it's the Vuvuzela sound from that one. Was was it like the World Cup or something? I, I think it was like either the World Cup or the Olympics, where they just people just wouldn't shut up with this fucking eh, fucking horn noise the whole fucking time. It was ridiculous. It was nonsense. It was like a minor stir for a couple weeks there back in like 2010. Don't you know? This was the style at the time. Um. Yeah, we need to. I need. I need a vuvuzela sound on the soundboard. That would be great. <laughs> was it the World Cup? Oh well, that makes sense then. That that makes a lot more sense. You know, if it was the Olympics, then it would have. Then it would have mattered. There. Breakfast. At least then you would have been. You would have been missing something. You know. Oh no, I have to get to Godzuki. Yeah, I'm sure he's outside. Hey, Godzuki, where are you, boy? I'm here, Dad. Good. Come. I do enjoy this <laughs> voice that he's doing for the song. Come on, breakfast is ready. Okay. Hey, Dad. Why you hate me so much? N no, Gatsuki, I don't hate you. You just get on my nerves when I got your back from work and waking up. Well, I'm sorry, Dad, for getting on your nerves. So I don't know which one of these. Yeah, check off bad, bad mic if you got it. I don't know which one of these. I don't know which one of these is, um... Uh supposed to be the you know the 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 kid friendly individual um a lot of likes on this i mean not a lot but you know for 3000 views not a lot but no dislikes though um uh, well i i don't know does more happen in this i assume there's yeah there's there's like ghidorah shows up uh you know stuff stuff occurs character designed by so i don't know if skylar kingery is uh is is this michael person it was who was it again it was uh skylar kingery and then who was gornatory so there's a few people involved in this directed by skylar kingery but it's supposed to be like a like a michael something i did see that name at the beginning I like to see a glarn do you know the 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 user on deviantart who do i look up on deviantart how do we get to this to, to this person's deviant art? That sounds good. In the meantime, uh, someone uh, someone told me to look at one of these. I don't know which one. Nikugon something. So I I you know I I'll do uh, this one. It's got less views, so it's underground. It's more secret. It's not for fanboys. Get out. Get out. Get out. No fanboys allowed. Uh huh. Skyosaurus cinema. God, the cinematic universe is even ruined. Fucking tism. What a shame. You know, 
You can't just have a standalone... I mean, it's Kingdom Hearts' fault, let's be real here. You can't just have a standalone... You know, it's Kingdom Hearts and... Because, I mean... Because, I mean, Chris Chan's Sonichu bullshit was happening previously to, you know, the, the MCU. So maybe the MCU was influenced by Kingdom Hearts and Sonichu. We can really only hope. We know it was influenced by the Channel Awesome storyline. You know, that much is just... That's just fact. That's just fact. like Star Wars yeah it's like da, 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 da. why are we listening to Star Wars music I'm getting I'm gonna get copyright fucked by Disney now thanks awesome I I, I like it's been fu like fucking years that I'm still just over here just like oh right I, I right music I'm supposed to be afraid of music I forgot music I hear I'm supposed to feel terrified and fucking live in fear of hearing a note of music I forgot you know the did you see the new Charlie video the AI is able to not only come up with songs that sound real about your your pulling on your wiener, but also they just like write songs that just come out of almost nothing. I think he just said he just typed in the word sack and it came up with an entire fucking song with lyrics and and vocals about about like sack and it was and it was funny. It was actually funny, too. That's the thing. Uh so that feels great. I literally felt sick this morning looking at that. And now I'm just reminded like, yeah, yeah, listening to music, evil, making music, useless, supplanted by robots. Welcome to the future. All right. Where are we? We're in the, the forest. Alpha of Godzilla's. Yeah. Are we in? Are we, why was there Star Wars music? Are we on like Endor? What the fuck's happening? I know. I mean. Oh, yeah. No, no full screen. Why can't he train me? Well, he's an alpha, so it's his job to kill on every castle on this island. Oh my god, Jason Gomez. They should not have brought you in for the voice acting on this one. Jesus Christ. Uh, so this is like, uh, this sounds like... We need a space on the bingo for, like, new user group. You know, we have, like, connection to known users. We have, like, part of larger user group. But we need one for, like, when we discover a larger user group. When we discover someone who's part of... Because there's... This is, like you say, they've been going for years, they're on DeviantArt, there's multiple people credited. This guy, it's the same thing I'm thinking with, with Origami Kingdom, where I'm like, why did you let this, like, child with Down Syndrome in your video? It's, I'm, it's fine, you can be friends with him and everything, but you don't, well, maybe not, actually, that's a little weird, but you don't have to, like... You, you can't understand what some of the people in these videos are saying. This guy's trying to voice act. You can't train me. Well, he's an alpha, so it's his job to keep on every... That's what the guys are just the best. That's what the best. Especially our rivals, cons, may also keep on each other. You can kind of get what he's get what he's saying, but it's not easy. It's not... It's not clear. It's like, just... You can have this person do the thumbnail. You don't need this person to do voice acting. Not, not everyone has, you know, the, the voice for it. It's fine. It's not, it doesn't, it doesn't make him less of a person. He just doesn't need to be in the fucking cast, though. Polar Earth and a balance. Yes, I know, and you've been telling me those stories about the Guardian monsters and the Ghidorahs, which I honestly think is a bunch of nonsense. Oh, you see my stories are true. Now come on, it's training time. <sighs> Man, I'm getting tired of this. Huh. Everyone can be a voice actor in today's world. Well, it's obviously this type of person wouldn't be hired in like a, I mean, this type of person, this type of person who's <laughs> while they're doing their fucking lines, you know, uh, would not be hired in like a, a production, you know, but it's like, you're just a group of friends, right? Making this and, and no one can tell someone involved in that because it's bullying or it would be, or it would hurt someone's feelings. No one can just go, Hey, yeah, you you kind of are hard to understand. That's just the, the the way of things. I'm sorry. It's not maybe best for you to play a character that has lines. You know, at least not many of them. I I, I don't know. That's not just stating facts is not bullying. You know, and they're like afraid of that. I guess I I because it's the same again. It's the same thing I said with Origami Kingdom. Why would they have people? doing like roles in their shit where it's like you can't even understand this person, dude. You could have. Someone had to step in and tell them, no, you know what? Behind the scenes, you can do our social media. 
You could be our SEO guy, but not a, a role. It, it, it doesn't even, it's not even like, oh, they're too autistic. I mean, anyone can be too bad of an actor and just be a mush-mouthed idiot. My favorite example is that guy from fucking, uh, 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 Born Into Mafia. The, uh, bald guy who's just like, No, sir, sir guy's got this problem, it's gonna be your problem too, real bad. He's got, yo, he's coming, he's coming to the country. No, we gotta tell him. It's, it's the worst acting you've ever fucking seen in your life. It's incredible. And that's what some of these roles remind me of. Like, no one can just tell that guy, like, yeah, you're not, you're not cutting it. Sorry, no one. I mean, at least in that case, it's a movie they're trying to make. They're paying these people. This is just a bunch of fucking friends. I don't know. I guess it's not that big a deal. It is just a bunch of friends. But come on, man. Do you have no integrity in the thing you're making? Just, just come on, man. Shit. But I guess the standard for anyone else involved in this is not much higher either, so... Very good, Dagon. Very good, Dagon. You have a break. Finally. Much better. I mean, it's like a little better, though. Come on. Now, what's the problem? What do you want? What's the problem? Give me for because you have. I'm been... sorry. It's just it's very noticeable. That's the point I'm making. It's extremely noticeable. It's You're like having problems with me and your father. So what's wrong? Well, you see, my father never spends time with me and doesn't even bother to train me. A lot of family dynamics in this uh, series, uh, featuring a guy who apparently does porn of his uh, infant sister did, uh, or niece or something. Did we ever get? The name of the DeviantArt? Glarn, did you have the name of the DeviantArt? Uh, are you gonna watch the Deadwing Dork stream? No, that's that's a, that's an original joke. I've never done that before. Um, I don't know, did Glarn mention the name of the- Oh, uh, Milk Barn. Okay, Milk Barn. Let me see here. We got an inside scoop on this one, apparently. In Nicholas Dodge Animations, there's a YouTube channel. Oh. Oh. Oh, go fuck yourself. Let's see here. Nicholas Dodge Animations. 121,000 subscribers, everyone. And this is the guy who uh, apparently did porn of his infant niece. Is that right? Allegedly? Allegedly, according to you? Allegedly? According to you and not me? Allegedly? Right? Um, This is what he's done, huh? Godzilla Specimen Roars. I guess you made him animate. I, I, you sure did. Nine million views on that, though? Uh, okay. It doesn't look that good. Um, but yeah, it's a YouTube channel. I mean, he's got a lot of subs. Uh, you know, he's really made it. Asian Cryptids with 127,000 views. Prehistoric World Sucho Mimus. 38,000 views. Lots of Lots of views. Real established channel, I guess. Uh, let's see here. Let's see here. The uh, deviant art. So are we gonna see like infant niece porn on here, or I guess he deleted that. I think he said he deleted that. Okay, well that's probably for the best. But I mean, I guess that's all just uh, what you're saying. Uh, we we don't necessarily know this is true then. Uh, yeah, he draws a lot of, I mean, like, gorillas and weird monsters, terror gremlin, mantle claw, there's a dragon, there's another dragon, there's a dragon on two legs with a bunch of fucking tails, um, then there's also, like, people that don't look so great, I mean, like, the monsters look alright, uh, I'll, I'll show you this page, for instance. The, the monsters, you know, they look okay. They're kind of mo monstery. I don't know if they're based on existing monsters or if they're new monsters. They're pretty good for new monsters, like this one. I like this one. Uh, this one's just a Godzilla with a power glove. But then, yeah, these people kind of have like an adventure quest look about them. Not not so great. This one over here in particular. Oh, uh, in fact, there's this like snake creature. Yeah, I mean, to be like a professional artist, I mean, I'm no artist, I couldn't make, anything I would make would look worse than this, but I also know what real art should look like, you know, quote-unquote real art, good art, I guess, and, uh, 
to be calling yourself a professional artist, I guess it's not inaccurate. You're just not a very good professional artist, in my opinion. This is... It's pretty bad. This is not great. Again, I couldn't do much better, to be fair, but... I don't think I could do... I, I don't think I could do... I don't think I could even do that good, frankly, but... Yeah, uh... No, some of the... Yeah, some of the humans in particular, like this one... Like, the faces and some of the proportions. It looks like she has two... Like, I can see that she has two normal feet. You know, the toes are all the right side. But it kind of looks like she has, like, two left legs or two right legs. Like, something's off with the bottom half. And then the top, look at the way the shoulder, oh god. This sash thing that she's wearing is, like, gouging out her fucking shoulder. Uh, that's, that's horrendous. Again, very adventure quest. Very adventure quest. I'm just saying, like, again, I couldn't make anything probably look this good, you know, visually. You know, I'm not a visual arts type of person, but, uh... You know, I, I've also seen a lot of fucking art, and I know that I can... I, I can confidently say I wouldn't consider that very good, necessarily. Uh, uh, but the monsters aren't so bad. I mean, again, the monsters... I don't know if these are based on existing monsters. But I kind of like, you know, this guy. Uh, this is a... Let me see. I'm, I think this is an original monster. I think this is an original monster. I was looking at the description to try and figure that out. Create any image you can dream up with AI. Man, I love that DeviantArt has a thing on the bottom that just... And on the top up here that's basically just... Do you want to skip making beautiful art like this? It's, it's cool. That's a great... Um, it's a great thing to put on your website for artists. I'm sure they all appreciate that. That's That's a neat thing. Uh, uh, but yeah, this monster is kind of, kind of, kind of cool. I, I, it's a lot better looking than the, than the people, I would say. It's still not amazing, amazing, but it's an, it's an interesting concept, you know. I don't, again, I don't know, maybe it's someone else's. Uh, and then you get, and then you get this. Uh, you know, nothing too crazy. Uh, nothing too crazy, um, you know, no, no weird fetish art yet. Tiny rear legs aren't big enough. Oh, yeah, probably. Um, let me see. Oh, we got an AI defender in chat. Uh, the implying actual artists aren't also cheating through their... Who's... What do you mean? Like, the tracing? Well, nobody likes that either. That's the biggest sin you could commit, short of being a pedophile or, a, or a, an opinion basher. As, as we all know. <laughs> You're gonna get a 400-page thread on Twitter about being a tracer. You're the worst human being ever to have lived. You traced a fucking picture of Amy Rose from Sonic Heroes from 2004. Go fuck yourself. Die. Actually die. So, I don't know. There's not much going on here. Um, uh, There's not much going on here on this DeviantArt. There's Nikugan. Somebody asked to look at the Nikugan stuff. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I guess it's it's more monsters. Um, oh, and then you get good images like this. This is part of the Niku Gun. This is. Um, I think I can show everything on this page. There's no titties or anything. This is uh, Ryoku Morns. Ryoko Morns. A scene from Niku Gun Protector of the Rising Sun, where Ryoko mourns her father's death. I also imagine the human art style similar to Fairy Tale. So this is original art, I guess. Uh, well, how to draw manga. Uh, <laughs> I guess it looks like, uh, you know, I mean, I can make out what, I, what I'm what i seeing here. It kind of looks like one of those, like, Newgrounds Flash games. Like, it would be like a choose-your-own-adventure type of thing. I, I don't know. Uh, yeah, so, but that's like the human side of this. There's, I mean, there's a bunch of shots of just, like, monsters here, too, and... You know, that's fine. Again, nothing too insane here. I guess uh, Glarn Buden mentioned that they've, like, mostly scrubbed anything that's, like, kind of weird. Uh, supposedly there was stuff that was pretty, uh, pretty sussy. Pretty sussy baka, but it's, uh, not really available at this point in time. Uh, screenshots. Daizua. Yeah, I mean, how, how long ago is this? Was this okay? Well, this is from 2016, so there's a 
there's an excuse for it looking like this, but, uh, oh, come on, what does this say? There's a Nashi, there's a Nai, oh man, I don't know, I don't know the kanji. I think this one's like, like I think this one's like, like writing, or, or, or thing, it might be thing. Anyways, uh, anyways, this, this looks fucking terrible. Uh, I, I guess there's been improvement over the years, it has, they have improved. You know, the art style, it has improved. Uh, but I, I don't know. If there's more to this, it seems like there is. I'd like to know more about it, but I think we'll move on from this now. Uh, that's interesting. There's, I mean, again, apparently there's a lot of, there's a lot of lore here. Once again, apparently the guy we're, whose art we're just looking at there uh, supposedly did uh, uh, sexual art of his infant niece. So, not... Uh, not something you want to not not something you want to have to say about anyone really um uh allegedly though allegedly you know i don't know i'd like to look more into it if there's more info at some point but at this point you know it's just a bunch of fucking monsters what what remains of it seems to be pretty tame so uh, you know i don't know what there was uh in the past um let's see here 877 from exiled postman good morning can we watch people get mad with fast food employees well, he just did that yesterday. He just asked for a cheeseburger. He just asked for a cheeseburger. Um, it would sure put a big bright smile on my face this bright Sunday morn. Well, I mean, we can certainly look for more. Uh, it's just that yesterday, we need to find one who's got more pants on than that guy did. Because he, full dick and balls. He's whooping his cock out! Uh, full dick and balls and ass crack. A lot of ass crack. The ass crack was fine. That's like funny butt. YouTube's not going to ban you over funny butt. But like then it was then it then it got a little worse. It got a little worse than that. Although the video has been on YouTube for like fucking ten years, but y you know that that doesn't matter. You know that that doesn't matter. They would ban me and then still keep that video up. That's what they would do. So uh, yeah, you got to be careful. But uh, I'm sure we can find. Let's see, fast food. We'll just do fast food rage. Yeah, you know what? Law and Crime Network. Five wildest times angry customers attacked fast food employees. Let's do it. Let's let let's do this. From slushy machine melees to airborne chairs to scolding hot coffee. We're All breaking right. down the five wildest I guess uh let's let's get rid of the bingo for now. We'll return to bingo in a little bit there. When we get back to more usury users. Uh but I mean, I guess you can play bingo if you want, but I'm, I I, I want to go full screen on this one. I got to get every detail. Times customers attacked fast food employees. Oh, yeah. Welcome oh. to After Hours. Oh, she's crawling over the thing. She's coming. Is this going to be all narrated? This is going to be all narrated, First, isn't it? we're in Los Angeles, okay. California. Okay, right. We're at a donut place. Let's let's go. Including He's going to narrate the whole thing. Awesome. All right. Very cool channel. Um. Uh. Well, we I think we watched this one already. But we didn't watch this one. We wa It looks like we watched all of this one. And that was from five years ago. So let's watch this one from two months ago. Hell yeah. If we watched all of it, that means it was a good one. I have to remember to turn up the volume now that there's no more screeching Godzilla noises. Although there might be screeching ham beast fast food noises. So it's all, you know, it's all good. <laughs> Man, they can't do nothing. Oh, so there's already some kind of tussle happening. Is that the tussle? I think. <laughs> Are they fighting behind the closed doors? Is there like a battle between the managers? Man, they can't do nothing. <laughs> this is the rare case where you go to the Wendy's and you tell them, sir, it's a Wendy's. Get oh boy, let's go! Let's go! Oh boy, oh boy, it's happening! Oh dear. Come on. Let's get out into the open now! I mean, just climb over the thing! What's, what's the worst that can happen? We gotta see it! Oh, here we go! <laughs> what the fuck happened? There's gotta be more to this. She's gonna come... 
just coming back in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't know what she did, but get her out of there. She stole a bunch of pennies. <laughs> so. <laughs> What'd you say? Send it to Wendy's and got them get some free meals because they screwed us out of ours. <laughs> well, yeah, I guess that's fair. Uh, you just go back over the counter there and make yourself a fucking cheeseburger. <laughs> I like the I I these are always in like US fast food places. It seems like fast food restaurants. People say like the waffle houses and the and the the Denny's, they're always the 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 like they're like the PVP zone. I would be willing to say those are like the the hard mode PVP zone. But I think you go into any fast food place in America and you're you're potentially entering a conflict. You're potentially there could be workers battling a truck could drive through the side of the store. There could be a bomb go off. I mean, in a much more sad fashion, anybody could just show up with a gun at any point, you know, uh, and 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 rain on people's parade. But you know, it, it, you know, in this in the heat of the chaos, whatever the situation might be, maybe you can go behind the ba the counter and make yourself a Big Mac, even if it's a Wendy's. You can just like. You probably figure it out, you know. I mean, how complicated can can it be? They work at a Wendy's. You guys are McDonald's. Yeah. You guys are fucking McDonald's. Oh, we got a Karen. We got a Karen. Now this one's her pants aren't gonna fall down, and she's probably not gonna start smacking people. Well, maybe. Actually, she might. I I, I shouldn't have said that. There's every chance she might, but uh, I don't know. I get the idea that a Karen is less prone to. Physical violence, more just verbal alt altercation. Uh, unless the person in front, unless the person she's arguing with is gonna be like, like diminutive in size, like their child, you know, maybe they'll whip them. But probably not this large lady at the McDonald's. Yeah, I, I, I this this woman looks, this woman looks like if she ate a single fr McDonald's French fry, she'd put on ten pounds. You know, world star, <laughs> you know, the thing about these fast food freakouts is that by cl almost like clockwork, you can count on some other person trying to be like the, the nice guy at the restaurant. And it's always like, do you really think you're helping? Like, I don't know. I think I said there was one we watched recently where it was some guy being horrible. It was him and his entire family. And they were at some restaurant. It was like IHOP or something. And he was just being fucking malicious to this woman that worked there. And the whole family was not saying word one about it. The kids were just internalizing it. The wife didn't care. Everybody in the restaurant was looking, but nobody was saying anything. And I was like, at some point, you gotta be the guy to be like, shut the fuck up and tell him to shut up. But I don't know, though, because now I'm watching this and I'm like, yeah, in every one of these, there's always the guy who has to be like, oh, come on, man, don't start arguing. And it's just like, well, now you're also part of this. I mean, you're also making a scene now. Like, I don't know what you think you're doing. You just have to let these people peter out. You're not going to help anything. You're literally only going to make it worse. In fact, most of the time in these scenarios, the people that wind up fighting are not even the people that originally had the conflict. We saw that cheeseburger one yesterday. And, and the guy was arguing with the people that worked at the restaurant, and then some dude who looked like John Doerr was, like, sitting over there fucking eating his cheeseburger, uh, you know, and he just made a comment, and then that became the fight. They started wrestling and hugging each other, and then the pants fell down and it got real gay. Uh, but, you know, it was all with some other guy who decided to pipe up. You know, he couldn't just eat his own cheeseburger in paradise. He had to... He had to rain on that, guys. And and so, I don't know, every time you see these, there's always some dude who wants to be the hero. It's like, just let it happen. Just let it happen. You're not helping anything. I don't know. It is literally 2024. It is the year it currently is, ma'am. 
I ripped the fuck up. Who is this, like, dancing man over here? He's got, like, a bucket hat. He's got a beard. He looks like a grandpa. He's, like, swaying back and forth. I guess he's j he's probably not related to anybody here. He's just enjoying the chaos, which is based. I would hope so. Maybe in no, you know it would be even better. He's this he's this guy. He's this lady's husband, and he's just like you know what she got herself into this. She can get herself out. You know she does this every time we go anywhere. Yeah, you know, I'm just gonna watch. I just like to watch you guys. You know, you know This guy is now way louder than she is. This It's like, I'm going to be the hero and yell at you, and people in the restaurant are going to be happy that it's me yelling and not you, I guess. They're going to be real happy about that. They're going to they're gonna notice the difference as they're plugging their ears trying to eat their fucking hamburger. They're going to, they're going to, they're going to care so much that I'm the one that's, I'm being, I'm being the good guy here, loudly and annoyingly. It's, it's much better that way. Jesus fucking Christ, dude. And try to degrade people. Oh, Jesus Christ. You know, you, you never, you you never, never see it coming. It you, you never see you, uh, Karen in you know in a, in a heated situation, shouting Mexican at a Mexican man. See, you, you just never. You, I couldn't have seen that coming. That was that. That came completely out of out of left field. Oh, oh, hey, 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 hey. Oh, oh, this starts off well. <laughs> this starts off good. <laughs> Oh, again, you don't see what happens to instigate this, but when you see somebody working at the McDonald's assailing you with, like, your Mick Cafe. That's a good one. That's a good clip. Yeah, eat some shit. Well, now it's happening. Yeah, that food came at him pretty fast. Oh, it's it's a food fight! 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 Oh, I guess that's it. That's it. Never should have come here. Is this Angry Joe? I guess Angry Joe doesn't have a beard. Yeah, it's 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 like it's like somebody who would be friends with Angry Joe. He looks like somebody on Angry Joe's podcast. So I'm not sure exactly what's going on in this one. People are a little calmer. This guy, this lady mentions health department. Something about a neighbor. There's kids involved. In any situation like this, you just have to keep in mind, like whoever's kids are. These are like if this is the. This is probably the guy here who I assume is the bad, the, the bad in this scenario, or one of the bads maybe, but I would assume that. Uh, and if these are his kids, then they're just like they go everywhere with him and just see him act this way, and they're this is how this type of thing happens, I guess. You just wind up with people who are who don't know that this isn't the way you're supposed to conduct life, you know. Uh, and they just assume that, like, if you act like a huge penis, you just get your way eventually. People just get tired of having to deal with you, and they, like, acquiesce to your demands like you're a terrorist. You know, this is, this is the, this is a good way to, this is a good way to raise your children. Hypothetically, maybe these aren't his kids. Maybe he's not the bad. It might be Angry Joe, Angry Joel over here. It might be Angry Jim. Agitated Angelo. Who's racist? Someone's racist? This one's too quiet. Uh, 
Okay, so I was right. It was this guy. For some reason, I can just tell. I mean, I guess the video kind of started focused on this guy, but like, you know, yeah, it's this guy. He's doing the whole, I'm Christian, I'm not racist, or whatever. I'm not sure what he said that was racist, but... Uh, you know, I'm I'm willing to believe it. I don't have too much trouble. I don't have too much trouble in this scenario for some reason. Just looking at the guy, yeah, kind of see it. Did he say the neighbor word? Did he? I heard the I heard the word neighbor. I did hear the actual word neighbor though. Let's go back. What we do here is go back. Uh, okay, yeah, I guess it cut- so, okay, the video probably cuts in after he said whatever he said. I don't know, though, I mean, so I guess the guy's claiming he didn't say the n-word, he said, love thy neighbor, because he's Christian, I guess that's what's happening? Okay, so I, it's probably not, though, I have a feeling that's probably not what he said. I Again, I, I can't, I can't be sure, right, because like, this is just, you know, but, uh, I don't know. I just have a feeling. I just do have a feeling that that's probably not what he said in this scenario. What is this fast food place, by the way? Why are they, like, behind prison glass? What the fuck is this? This is, this is, this is, this is mild compared to the way it usually is, so far. Maybe a table will be flipped. Oh man, look at this fucking unit over here. Now this is savage right here. He walks in and the whole world is, the whole room is afraid. He's got like matching socks that are like black and white and have like a design on them. Fucking hell, what's going on? Yeah, they're arguing in lower case. I think at this point it's just become a religion talk. Maybe it wasn't ever... Someone, they said he was being racist, so I mean... Maybe he did say, love thy neighbor, and now he's just being defensive and religious about it. I don't know. Okay, well, this is like... Oh, man, he's coming. He's coming. This guy is not having any of it. Is So is this going to turn into a fight? They're still arguing, huh? This is, this is, this is pretty mild. Are they gonna start arguing? This is like if this happened in Canada. This isn't believable as a United States situation. No, there, where's the guns? Where's the baseball bats? I guess they're all fat enough though, never mind. You know, God really put us all on this earth to be able to argue about religion in the fucking taco restaurant. <laughs> Never mind, in the Chinese restaurant. So is this still going? He's they're still fighting. Uh, that's a mild one. That shouldn't have been in here. I mean, it was a little bit interesting, but I kept waiting for it to turn into fighting. God damn it. This one, this, this next one better have fighting. Fucking me! There we go. Fucking this is more like it. Give me my fucking me! He Give just me wants his cheeseburger! Me. Give me my fucking me! This is what I was waiting to happen. Yeah, they don't know what to think. I, okay, well now the problem is they're being too loud and I can't understand what the fuck is happening. Oh, 
that's all. All right. It was. It wasn't a fast food service worker freak out. It was just a, a, a freak out that happened to take place in a fast food joint that time. All right. Very short compared to that last one. I feel like I might have seen this one. Good morning. Yeah, uh, how you doing? Uh, my boyfriend was here earlier. He said that you wrote your phone number or his receipt, and I'm just here to check you and say, like, control your hormones or whatever's going on. <laughs> what the fuck is happening? I tried to... Okay, his boyfriend was here. Was it like a service problem? What happened? A receipt? What's going on? Horma? What's going... Yeah, no, I've lost the plot completely. Uh, here to check you and say, like, control your hormones or whatever's going on. I know he fine. What, what happened? She hit on his boyfriend? Welcome yeah, to my uh, fantasy How you doing? Uh, my boyfriend was here earlier. He said that you wrote your phone number or his receipt. And I oh, oh, okay. I'm just here to check you and say, like, control your hormones or whatever's going on. I know he's fine. His name Antoine. You were fine? <laughs> Is this like a joke? I know he's fine. His name Antoine. Is this a joke? What the fuck is this? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know about you, nor Antoine. When you walk in here, say good morning like we said to you. Oh, okay. Good morning. Yeah. I don't care about no Antoine. I don't care none of that. You want I say good food? morning. No, I'm asking you. You want to order food? Yeah, I am. Could all I right. finish with it all? I no, want to I check it. I don't hear about none of that. You're not checkmating nothing in here. Good Oh, uh, this lady has had to deal with someone like this before. Every restaurant needs to have someone like this employed with them. Who's had to do... You guys remember the 1A stream with Hero Cop? The one guy who... There was, like, some dude being... The whole stream... These these fuckers kept like shitting all over these these cops and just like no I'm on the easement bro you fucking loser and then this one fucking clip there was this guy that was just like no shut the fuck up shut the fuck up no shut this is the this is not the way it works fuck you shut up and that's what this that's every every restaurant needs to have someone like this to just put down their fucking foot in case someone co comes in. Asking about Antoine. Oh. Ah. I'm checking lists and everything. That date is Christmas. And you had ho ho ho. <laughs> what the fuck is happening? Is this a skit? Does this lady work with him? Is this like, is this like some sort of mad TV concern? Uh ah. -uh. Yes, baby. Right back at you. You want some chicken? Oh my God. All of y'all coming? Yeah. <laughs> to our store. You ain't about to come in and check made nothing about Oh my God. God. I thought I was in the suburbs. <laughs> I thought I was this... in there's North Philly? Yeah, and Chester. Northwest Chester. Also, if you go to North Philly, then you wind up with this happening to you. That's good. That's, that's good. We don't know who you talking to, bro. Uh-uh. It ain't nobody up here want no If I would've got my nails done, it would be order popping. Oh, baby, you would've had to bring your best So I just, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> this is turning into lingo I don't understand. Better order my food and shut up. <laughs> Y'all will fight me? Knock you out. I got too many deep hands back here. I'm so honest. I've been a bush in your hands. Alright, sure. Yeah, she's the boss of the KFC. She's the level boss. TikTok, please find this person. Let's find this person. What is that, by the way? What is this, please find this person? Why do we need to track down who this person is? Why is that necessary? Because they were a little annoying in a restaurant once. Is that really necessary? TikTok needs to internet detective this guy back to his house. That's that's cool. That's great. I love that. I love that. TikTok, please find this person. Goodbye, well, Athens. And that's that. Goodbye. Clean up, bitch. Clean up, bitch. Clean up, bitch. Clean up, bitch. Clean up bitch. <laughs> this got real gay in the last couple minutes here. <laughs> They and their two uh, friends have been harassing different Starbucks locations throughout the Feedy District in this. The Skibbity District? <laughs> Finally found Camden Gerard Davis, everybody. You know, this was... It was, it was uh, right in plain sight this whole time. <laughs> Oh, 
You know, it's at this point when I'm just unequivocally, I'm on the side of the people raging at the fast food people. I know I shouldn't be, but let's be real here. That's what makes these videos funny. If it's just a mild altercation, that's just not entertaining. We as viewers, we, I think all, if we admit it to ourselves, we all can, can acknowledge that we are here waiting for fucking conflict. I'm waiting for him to rip that Starbucks sign off of its fucking off of its, like, hanging thing, and just throw it over the fucking counter. Just beat someone with it. I want blood on that sign, goddammit. It's not gonna happen, though. <laughs> I don't know why this has, like, no fucking order. That's like, it goes from 1 to 10, and then there's, like, I think it was like at three or four before this. So what the fuck is going on? Are one of you guys gonna move? <sighs> oh boy, nothing gets people more heated than a fucking uh, a parking lot conflict at a Taco Bell. One of these people really wants their food, another one really needs to get home to a bathroom. And then this lady is just a Karen. This is somebody cutting in front of somebody, taking advantage of the situation. So I'm not calling the police because what you did is wrong. Oh my god, it's Taco Bell. It's Taco Bell. <laughs> Everyone's going to eat. But how she just going to cut in front of somebody? It's okay. Ma'am, it's Taco Bell. Settle down. Just let her go. It don't matter. It's not worth It's not worth your energy. It's not It's not worth it. I know, don't waste your time on her. She's obviously just not going to help the problem. Dude, you guys are trying to get Taco Bell. Like, give me a break. This is a real clash. You've got the feisty black lady who's like, No, -uh, she can't put her, part, her car right there. She can't do it. And then you got the, you got like two different Karens. This is a great clash. This is like, I you get something really good in item synthesis when you do this. Uh, you mix two Karens and one and one move over sister. Uh, you get you get something real special. Can I eat my dinner? <laughs> oh my goodness! Happy Women's Month. This is a Taco Bell queen. Oh, I'm muted. Oh my, is she gonna call the cops while I'm sitting here on a burrito? This, okay, there's clearly enough space that you could just drive behind this bitch and like park over there. What is this now? What is this American standoff? <laughs> I like that, because the Mexican standoff is with the guns, but naturally an American standoff would feature a bunch of gas guzzling automobiles that are forced to drive from their house in the suburbs to the nearest Taco Bell 72 miles away on the freeway yeah and this is the this is the this is the American version yeah yeah that makes sense it makes a lot of sense are we serious right now dude <laughs> can you just back up dude like I'm trying to have a food I'm trying to have a food she just wants one food. Excuse me. Hi. Can you? I know she's being down a little bit. Can you just I found the police? Okay. Her because what she's doing is wrong. When she, when you do, hopefully she's gonna be in there, so she won't be able to go anywhere. But could you maybe like back up so we could all turn in there, or, or just? So so okay. So you got the one lady who's like boxed in with the with the black lady. She's like refusing to move, and the black lady's mad. And then this other lady, I'm calling them all Karens, but. This other lady does seem to be trying to mediate a little bit. I mean, she's trying to mediate, but, uh, I, I don't know. I don't think it's gonna work. I don't think it's gonna work. Uh, I feel like somehow this is gonna escalate to all of them having a cat fight in Jell-O. Oh, wait, 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 I'll let you go in front of me. She blocked me. She came in, she drove in and tried to make a turn when we, when I was already No, I'll, I'll just let her go and I'll let and you cut in front of me. And the lady in it's front okay. of me seen it. Did you not see what no. she did? Literally just let her go. You are under arrest for disrupting Taco Bell. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, that's... That's in the Constitution, I'm pretty sure. You're not allowed... To, it's like burning the flag or something. And you can go in front of me. Like, don't, <laughs> she's a like waste of your time. Don't even waste your energy on her. That's what I'm saying. That's wrong what she did. She it is, shouldn't do that. No, it is wrong, but you should be the bigger person and just I let am. it go. Shaka Karen. Uh, but how many times she gonna do that to somebody else? Somebody no, needs to stop Let it go. Her. And eventually they will stop her. Let her deal with that, though. You don't have to be the one. With her trifling ass. Yes. Yeah, Ooh, you know what? Uh, now oh, yeah. the question is why she's decided to try and mediate with uh, the the black lady and not the the white lady. Why she's decided? I guess is I'm not sure about the situation. Maybe it's easier for her car to move. It seems like there's a lot of space in the parking lot. Like it's it's just the weirdest thing. It's not like there's one parking space or they're all cramming to get in the drive through or something. They're just kind of arbitrarily stuck at one spot when they could kind of. It looked like they could pretty easily just like, move around each other. But I guess they're all just so stubborn that none of them are willing to do that. I, I guess. I, I don't like you guys are doing 12-year-olds. Jeez. Can somebody back up so I can eat my dinner? She wants a food. Can you can you back up then? If you're not hungry. Are you guys kidding me? Oh, uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Uh, -oh, uh, -oh. uh she is going to ask both of your managers to fucking come down here. Who's and that probably be means your mom's. You step up and not act like a 12-year-old right now. Oh, my God. You guys are ridiculous. And so the Karen just abandoned her car in the Taco Bell and walked six miles east. Uh, what a shame. Oh, Oh, now we're really, this is going to make things better. Yeah, the horn, the horn honks. This is going to make things a lot better in this situation. They need to have a thing so you can't honk, honk, you can't honk your horn if you're like, I don't know, if you're like stopped. Like, if you're like driving and you need to, whoa, somebody's, there's a car, there's somebody, some blind lady is walking in front of the car. Uh-oh, honk the horn, uh-oh, you know. But if you're like just parked, they should put a thing in the car so that you're not allowed to honk the fucking horn. Because this is ridiculous. People will just do this. They'll just, like, honk their fucking horn in, in, a, in a parking lot. Just to be an asshole. Hark your honk. Okay. Taco Bell lady is coming along to, like, hostage negotiate this situation down from the fucking the American standoff that it is. Circus music on the soundboard. I mean, I don't have circus music, but you know. here wants to be the better person. No one wants to admit oh defeat. Gosh, thank you. Including this lady. Okay, it's finally happening. Oh my goodness, problems. Please no more black fights. Y'all don't clearly like black people. I mean... The, the, the usual stereotype is white lady with blonde hair, though. Like, that's what I'm expecting in every one of these videos. When it starts, I'm expecting it to be a white lady with blonde hair um, in her 50s, whose name is, like, Janice or Karen or, like, Peg, you know, Peggy Hill kind of character, basically. Uh, I'm not really ever expecting it to be, you know... I'm not ever expecting it to be Missy Elliott, but sometimes it is. And, it, you know, I, I don't know. I don't know what to fucking tell you. I, 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 uh, we could look at some Chuck E. Cheese fights next. I'm sure that'll be better. 
That'll be that'll be different, I'm sure. Oh, Does that can... count as fast food? Thank you, Lord. Oh, here comes the cops. They the cops are really coming for the Taco Bell dispute. Ma'am, you are under arrest for disturbing the peace at the Taco Bell. You you are bothering Taco Bell. Oh the cops! Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> This is a joke. This is a joke. This is. <laughs> the police are here. <laughs> anyway, speaking of speaking of racism, the police are here. Oh no! I'm sorry, chat member. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I don't. I don't know what to tell you, chat member. I'm just watching the video. What the fuck do you want from me? I get past? How am I gonna drive through this guy? How am I gonna drive through? This, this is my guy? first Karen experience. I'm so excited. Well, it's more of a precious experience. Oh. Drive through. Enter right here. We let her in. So what are we doing? There's a drive through. This is another. I. I mean, the video is fast food freakouts. But it looks like there's like a hospital over here, so I guess I got it in my head that this this might be a, a bigger deal. No, they're just out of Wendy's or something. Okay, what the fuck is going on though? What wh did she like park in the middle of the fucking driveway? She's in. No, go, 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 go. We were in the line too. We were. In the we line. were in the line too. Okay, all right, all right. Let the blood go. In two. Hang on. We were. In the we were in in the line oh wow there's a whole there's a whole bunch of people that have surrounded this car what the fuck did okay so what happened in this car Ooh. who did the what did these guys do okay all right all right wow everyone's mad at these guys it looks like i think they're all upset with these guys specifically and we're for mcdonald's we're fighting over mcdonald's the world has bigger problems <laughs> the, big, the world has bigger problems than who's getting in line first at mcdonald's <laughs> we've got our very i mean i would agree i i guess it's not just about them yeah these ladies i guess have just stopped the the mcdonald's procession for some reason my own first karen live sighting she is mad that cars were cutting in front of her in the McDonald's drive through even though they really weren't because there was two ways to get in. So she got out of the car and she won't let people move. She's blocking the drive through Her whole Yeah, family. she does look like she's starving. She really needs a bite to eat. I, she's not going to make it to the finish line of this one. I'm really worried about her. She's like a starving Ethiopian child. Oh, God, that way. Hang on, that's racist. Oh, God damn it. No. No, I'm being a bully again. No, that was the wrong one. It was, it was, it was, I was, I, I reached for the soundboard to do a, one of those, but yeah. My is out. Hooting and hollering. Hooting and, and a hollering, you say. I said, fixing to, fixing to a holler. Huh? Don't you know? Isn't there a slogan? I'm loving it. Cause I'm loving it. I, 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 we don't know the context of what the fuck was happening there. I guess on some level, does it matter? Does it matter ultimately? Uh, it's so fr it's so infrequent th with these videos that anyone is really the person in the right. You know, usually it's like, it's the much more, unfortunately, it's never as black and white as that. It usually is just one person, both, everybody involved is being kind of a prick. Sometimes even just the innocent person filming it who has like a thing on their screen going, FIND THEM, LEVIATHANS, you know. Uh, everyone involved is a bit of a fucking dick, including me, and especially chat. Yeah, there's like no fucking order. I don't know why they're even numbered. I think this was the way it was last time, too, that I watched one of these videos. And that was from five years ago. This one was from two months ago. So I, I don't know. There's there's numbers before the videos, but then the, the fucking numbers don't mean literally anything. So I don't understand. They don't... I, I don't... I don't understand. What the fuck? Which is... No, she right here. Right there with the head. I see you. You said you turned around to... So fuck? we've got children here and they're they're eaten but i guess the the conflict is over there no, 
<laughs> oh, shit, get out of your fucking way, kid. I want to see... I haven't even seen what's going on here. The fucking second I get to see something, it's the stupid... It's, it's, it's fucking Bill Clinton, my, my, my rabbi kid showing up. God damn it. Okay, Stay okay, out of the way. Right. You looked at me and said, what the fuck? Right? It wasn't towards me? Be real. Just be real. Just be real. Mean, Why are you filming your friend? Film the guy. He's not even looking at you. Stop being such a pussy. So who was it towards you? Nobody was at the drive through. He done gave that to me. He was looking at her. And as soon as... Listen, listen, I'm 30 years old. I'm not trying to argue with a 90-year-old, 80-year-old. Yeah, all right? Little silence, stalker child. Enjoy prison. All right? I'm going to take that straight up. I already gave you my fucking mural already. And you know what? Fuck this. I'm going to win you that. Fuck that. Well, this is not even interesting. I don't know. It's just some. I guess he's arguing. It's not really much of a conflict. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait! You put your hands on me, and he'll learn words he never learned before. Oh, they're gonna fuck each other up. Well, that is like a lady he's probably saying that to, so that's that's not that's not good, you know. Fuck up flat top over here. He could pro he could probably fight you, maybe. But it's you're like you're like angry specifically at this woman over here. You know, it's funny, he said like five minutes ago in this conflict of I guess that he was 30 years old, he's too, he's got, he's too busy to argue with a 19 year old at McDonald's, but I guess he's not too busy to fuck her up and beat her up in the McDonald's or something. I, I guess he's, I guess, and, and frankly, I guess he indeed is not too busy to keep arguing with her. Because he has just at least, at the very least, continued doing that. So that's, that's pretty funny. Alright, that's what you want. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. I got money, money talks to me. Okay, okay, 100,000 so, 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 so. This is such a, like, it's, uh, you know, you hear the sir, this is a McDonald's, sir, this is a Wendy's, but this is really, yeah, sir, this is a, this is a McDonald's, why are you doing this? I, I don't know if your wife left you, if your, if your, like, business is falling apart or something, but, like, you don't, you don't need to, you don't need to fight the McDonald's employees, you know? That's not necessary. I want Bob Dylan up on the stage. You got no talent. Oh, this poor. Now this poor woman. I feel sorry for. It's not even like. It's not even like that lady at the KFC or whatever who was just like the shutting the fucking people down, shutting that guy down. You know, you get the fuck out of here. This ain't this fuck. You you didn't even. I don't want to hear about no Armando. I don't want to hear about no Antoine. Sorry, that was his name, Antoine. This lady's trying to literally like hostage negotiate. I joked about that at the Taco Bell one too, but that's what she's like. All right, talk to me. Tell me your worries. Tell me your fears and concerns. You, it doesn't have to end like this. You don't have to jump. Well, Jesus Christ. I feel so sorry. This woman does not get paid enough for this. What a shame. None of them, none of them do. Hey, 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 uh, Kiryu Saga. Yeah, we already stopped watching that thing. You are free to stop talking about that for the next 30 minutes, and then hopefully uh, after that as well. Thank you. These fucking people that just sit here, like, bitterly, I guess, in the chat, they're just like, No, I want to go back to the thing that we were watching! Bitch, leave. Uh, fuck off. What do you... Find another stream. Piss off. <laughs> Well, it seems like he's pretty upset, Chad. I don't know. So this is such a shame, these people that have to work here. Just, they, they, I mean, over and above, like, having to work at a McDonald's, it's just, like, degrading in and of itself, you know? They don't get paid enough, and then they have to deal with, you know, uh, pushy, annoying people at, like, at, at best, at minimum, right? 
And then you, and at worst, you get people. I mean, this isn't even as we're as bad as it gets. You know, you get people who like completely start smashing fucking glass and throwing shit. You know, we've seen worse than this. But shit, man, it's just you know, yeah, yeah, minimum wage and all of that. I don't know. It's a, it's a, it's a real shame. Never mind, he's back. He's back. All right, we're still going. This could still get worse. All right. It's turned into Tarzan noises. Kiryu didn't get banned. He just got 30 minute time doubted. Don't worry about it. He'll learn. Hopefully, he'll learn his lesson. If not, then maybe next time. Why did he come back? Why did that guy come back after, like, eating his food? There was the fucking guy Charlie looked at who, like, ate his food, and then he, he, I, I guess he came back to the Waffle House or whatever, like, an hour later, and, and, and he was like, no, you know, I, well, it turns out I wasn't happy with it. I want my money back, actually, and I think, I think that turned extremely physical as well. I, the guy might have gotten arrested and everything. Um... Yeah. yeah, so like, I mean, why Why indeed, you know? It's probably like just mental illness or something. I mean, again, people having people, people having their one bad day like the Joker, they just happen to take it out on a bunch of McDonald's employees. Oh, okay, okay. Oh yeah, nothing like the okay, he's out he's he's go he went fully behind the counter. That's that's wild. Uh uh you're not supposed to do that, sir. There's a counter for a reason, sir. Um Um Yeah, no, the nothing like this would ever happen at the at a McDonald's in, in like Can I mean maybe in you know, maybe in Toronto, I don't know. I'm sure stuff like this would happen. There's like wacky people, you know, but it's it's certainly not like it is in apparently many cities in the u.s uh you, you know uh the real prejudice in this 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 video so far has been towards americans i mean these have all been american i don't think we've seen one that i think I, i've thought this is probably a canadian they sound canadian there's no there's been no british people there's been no aussies there's been nobody from fucking china it's been all americans it's it's that's the real thing, is for some, some, Americans have lead in their water or something, and they just all want to fucking beat each other up. It's, it's weird. I don't get it. Give my fucking money, man. Mind your fault. 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 Mind your Oh well, yeah, this about this about to go viral. They they always think they're gonna be the star of their story. They think they're the the, the pro tag. Everyone's I'm gonna put this on TikTok and everyone's gonna agree with me. Was he even recording this? Obviously, these kids are recording it. But was this guy like? Did he have his phone out the whole time? Maybe there's footage of his TikTok where he's like, "Can you see how unreasonable these people are being in the wall in the McDonald's? It's it's crazy. It's just crazy." <laughs> Uh, yeah, he brought out the phone. All right. Yeah, it's time for your 15 minutes on TikTok. They're all going to hate you. They're all going to agree with me for some reason. Uh, you know, by the way, we are at risk of this guy's pants falling down like that guy yesterday. You know, all he wants is a cheeseburger. I actually don't know why this guy's arguing, but I'm assuming all he wants is a cheeseburger. This lady went from trying to like console the dude, talk him down from the fucking ledge, and now she's having to, you know, defend her employees. Man, again, not not paid enough for this. Holy shit. I don't give a fuck. He disrespect me. Okay. Uh, they disrespected him. Well, you know, to be fair, you know, this guy is a war veteran. He did serve in the military. He served in Captain Alex's army, so. I don't give a fuck. Raise the police. Okay. They disrespect me. I'm not, I'm not fucking me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. 
suddenly nice to this one lady. Maybe she's fine, and the rest of them, you know, she she's 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 kind of she. I can't really see. Maybe she's like more attractive than everybody else working there. And he's just like, listen, I'm really sorry to involve you in this. Can we get like coffee sometime? But that cunt over there, though, man. Riz, yeah, maybe. Yeah, he got PTSD from his experience in the fuck fuck games. It's actually very sad. This is a victim we're looking at here. Oh, he's crowding our IT. We're about to go viral. We're about to go viral. Oh, we're about to go viral. We're about to go viral. Oh my god, I hate the world. I hate the world so much. We're about to go viral. Oh, yeah, yeah. What have you done to deserve this, you fucks? Why do you want to go viral? Critically analyze the psychology of what makes you want to do this and then get back to me, you fucking shit stains. I'm not mad. I'm not upset. <laughs> yeah, total sniper wolf fan type of type of, type of behavior. I don't know. This is still going. I was gonna skip past this, but he's. He's really, he's really at it. He's really, he's really upset that the McDonald's employee disrespected him. It's, it's sort of like, I never get it, like, when people get really mad on, like, you know, Twitter. They're like, oh my god, people are, there's a hate mob about, uh, after me, oh my god. And it's like, okay, but the people that you think are part of this hate mob are also, you also, like, routinely disrespect them as being, like, whatever, you know, whatever the group is, like, they're, they're chuds, they're, like, fucking left-wingers, they're whatever you, you, whatever, whoever you've poked the bear of, you know, like, you, you, you don't, you don't really respect them, right? Like, this guy doesn't respect the people that work at the McDonald's, so what does it fucking matter to you that they don't, like, respect you, or that they're, like, rude to you? Should you even really give a shit? I guess if you're super narcissistic and you think that everyone has to respect you, but I guess my perspective is, like, if if it's someone that you have respect for and they're, like, rude to you, then I get it. But if it's just people that you don't even, like, care or register on your radar, it's like, should you even give a shit? I, I don't know. I, why, what, is this, what is this mental problem that people have where they both care too much? And also, I, I, I don't get it. I don't get this. Get your food. Get your one food. Take your happy meal and go. That would be what would, that, that would only make it better as if it was a happy meal. So that's it. I mean, the video continues. Like, I think the guy, does he throw something? I think he throws something. No, no, he's... Just angry. He goes back. He will be back. He is going to bring the he the fucking thunder of hell upon you people. You ain't got to, to King Kong ain't got shit on me. Okay, so what just happened? Tell us what just happened, Sniper Wolf fans. Yeah, we have evidence. We got all the evidence. Ooh, you guys right. Yeah, we're gonna go viral for our evidence. All right, never mind. Uh, I'm I don't need to see any more of this. I'm good. So that was some fast food freakouts, and uh, yeah, yeah. The channel is called in no particular order, but like, but you do have numbers on the list. It's just fucking stupid. Why is there num? Why do you have a numbered list if you're not gonna have any order to? Don't even number them then. Just be like, and next. It doesn't need to have order, but you've implied order with the numbers. What the fuck is wrong with you? Anyways. Um, it's good, though. It's a good... It, this is a good channel, because it doesn't have a bunch of... And next up is this video! It doesn't have some fucking... Some idiot like me talking over it. Um, uh, but that, that was some fast food freakouts. And, uh, you know, you love to see it. You love to see it. Um, let me see here. Um... Five bucks from Venomous Socks just got here. Are we going to continue the Patrick Som Tomlinson saga? It ended with a whimper yesterday. Uh, well, maybe not today. I do think I want to continue that, maybe. I mean, he was. we were in the middle of his court case, but I don't know. I kind of got the picture on that one. I think I might wait and see what... Because, uh, again, I think Medicare was going to talk about him uh, before he, he, the stream got like changed to be about Mersh. 
So maybe next month, uh, at the end of this month, he might he might uh, talk about Patrick Tomlinson there. I might watch some more videos about him. I don't know. Uh, it, it was, I mean, we were really just watching other people's content covering him at that point, though. Uh, there, there isn't much, because he's mostly like a Twitter guy. I guess I could read his Twitter. Um, that would be an idea, maybe, but eh, I don't know how interesting it would be. Uh, yeah, no, I mean, the prob that's the problem, you know, that was like I was winding down the stream anyway yesterday, and I was like, yeah, why not? We'll watch, like, Smokey talk about it, you know, and then, but then it seems like most of the content about that guy is other people talking about him, whether it's, like, with an AI voice or whatever, and I mean, that's still interesting, but I don't know, I, I do like to, I do pr generally prefer to find these things sort of in the wild, uh, you know, this is, like, videos... I don't know, it's like, you could just watch these videos on their own, they seem good, watch those, you know, uh, uh, you don't need me presiding over it, but if there was, I don't know, there is, you know what, we will probably do more bad stand-up at some point, and I know Patrick Tomlinson has more bad stand-up, so at the very least, get excited for that. Um, Kobe Beef has become a member, thank you very much. <laughs> Just imagine that's a Vuvuzela. Uh, Nick M has been a member for two months. Is this user the opinion basher? No, actually. This user is also the attention seeker. They're, they're actually both. Actually, they're all. He's also the attention the attention seeker. Um, uh, suspicious tumbleweed with two dollars. You said doo doo. Yeah, that's it's 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 true. I think I probably did, at some point. I don't know if it was on. I guess it was on this stream. I probably said it before too. Um, uh, five bucks from Jafer. I mentioned in the other stream about the brain drain weirdos. Well, I found one. Yaru Yu. Alright. Um, I don't remember that. Uh, brain drain weirdos? Y Yaru Yu. I'm not finding any Yaru Yu. I've got a, 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 a Yakuza video. Or I think it's Judgment, actually. I think it might be Judgment. It's called Yaryu, the Detective of Dojima. I don't think that's it, though. Um, it's not Yaruyu, it's Yaryu. Uh, I, I'm not seeing, is it, that's on DeviantArt or something? Uh, Yar, Yaru, Yaruyu. Uh, Yaruyu on DeviantArt, right, right, right. Uh, so these are brain drain weirdos, apparently. Um, oh, I think I remember this now, okay. Uh, so the description of their page, they're from South Africa, deviant for four years. Um, over the years, I've always had the thing for ears, particularly female ears. Well, call me creepy, but I've always had a fascination with them, especially anything about a giantess's ear. But I've noticed very few deviations relating to giantesses or female ears in general, even, even on deviant art of all places. I made this user account to spread awareness of the interest with others who are also interested. This user- I, The nose, vor, feet of giantesses are great, but I think the ear is a body wor part worth exploring. Um, and yeah, there's a bunch of ear-related art here. Uh, uh, great. Um, uh, favorite movies, Wreck-It Ralph 1 and Inside Out, which, you know, makes sense. Um, at least the second one does. Favorite TV and shows, it's entirely anime. Uh, oh no, there's okay, there's also like Glitch Tex and Gravity Falls. And uh, Over the Garden Wall. Um, favorite, oh, uh, this is this tells you all you need to know. Favorite artists, Owl City and AVC. I mean, Owl City, damn. Um, on, uh, favorite games, Undertale, Far Cry 3, Metroid Prime. Mortal Kombat, Bioshock, all games, uh, Half-Life, okay, okay, um, PC platform, he doesn't know any other platform, um, well, that's a little bit about him, uh, Yaru Yu, maybe it's, maybe it's her, I don't know, there's no pronouns in bio, um, but, uh, I would assume, probably, just going on a hunch, I assume it's probably a, a guy, um, uh, yeah, which ones should I... Uh, this looks like a good one. Sure, sure. So this is by Yaru Yu, and this is, uh, I think, a Totally Spies character. It's like the, yeah, it's it's Sam the Redhead from Totally Spies, I think. Um, 
So, I mean, this probably fits in with Totally Spies canon. This is probably just a real picture. This is probably just a real comic from the creator of Totally Spies. Sorry for keeping you waiting. I'll get your drink ready in a sec. Someone spiked the drink. Oh, this is actually really good. And it has an odd taste. Well, that's weird. I feel something in my ear. What the hell? And her ear is getting big and waxy. And then, um... Okay, now what's going on with my ears? I can't hear a thing. And, um... So that's a little, um... Sign of what we're in for. You know, I'll be right back. Just give me a second here. I'll, uh, I just need to, I just need to go grab a drink. Um, I'll be right back. We need to have a thing on the bingo for when I do that. And I'm like, just give me a sec, I'll be right back. And, you know, we play a little song and I just force you to watch this. And then sometimes I fuck it up and I leave it on a bad Kotaku article about a guy who had sex on a Sonic bed. Um, yeah. Good image. I'm gonna put that one right up on the fridge. Let me, um, recombobulate a little bit. Move some stuff around. I got drinks. I got the, uh... The Canadians know what I'm talking about. The fucking, um... Caramel drinks with the... You know, you gotta shake them. The milkshake drinks. They're pretty good. They're pretty good. Hopefully nobody spiked mine with earwax juice. Giant ear growth earwax juice. Bro has a drink! Um... Yeah, so, I mean, I don't know, uh, there's a lot of art here from this individual, and it's all ear waxy and such. There's, um, miniaturized Ray, uh, being, being ear canaled by Asuka. She's being humbled using, um, Ray as a Q-tip, I guess. Um, and, uh, that's what this all looks like here. And uh, there you go. You've seen that. That's you've seen that. Um, yeah, some of it is um, some of it is like fairly. Uh, oh, see, no, this is no good. See, this is no good because you got um. <clears throat> oh, Adam, I was told you had something to tell me. This is like a. I don't know. It looks like she's, you know, 12, but, um, I mean, I guess she has, like, body-wise the proportions, but she, I don't like this art style. I'm not a fan of this. Uh, it looks like Teen Titans Go, but she is an adult, I guess. Um, I need to tell you something really, really, really important. What are you saying? I'm afraid you would have to speak up a bit. She throws him in her ear. Haha, -ha, just as planned, and it's actually Robin. It's secretly actually Robin. Um, whoa, there's nothing in this head but earwax. I don't know why you had to get inside my ear, but you better get out and apologize for that insult. And then he goes into her brain. Um, he starts piloting her brain. Her legs are moving on their own. Uh, Robin has entered her brain through her ears and is now piloting her like a mecha anime. Um... I don't know, now see the thing, if you don't know DC, Adam here is able to shrink, so he's like Ant-Man, kind of. I don't know how Robin managed to pretend to be Adam, I guess he just stole his suit or something, I guess? I think he is just suit-powered, so I guess that's all he needed to do. And yeah, he's able to pilot her brain like an- IT'S NOT OVER YET, SNAKE! Y you know, um, very cool, very cool. I guess this is this is probably how he checked if she was pregnant. You know? That makes sense. Why didn't she have an eardrum? I don't know. 
you know, um, wouldn't worry too much about that. Don't worry about that. Um, here's the 12 year old from Ben 10. Um, um, hey, future me, can you put me in your pocket instead? You told me to put you in my ear so I could hear you at all times. Why the sudden change of mind? You know how I get very, very squeamish around really gross stuff. Yeah, she's traumatized. She's in the ear. Uh, right, right. Um, that's fine. Yeah, so this is, uh, there's ear stuff, but, uh, you know, the person uh, who suggested this, they did mention brain drain. So I guess that, um, I guess the, uh, the one with Robin and Wonder Woman there was a little closer to that. Um, we've got Agatha the Bug Girl from Twilight Princess. We've got more, like, six-year-olds, it looks like. What is this? Oh, yeah, no, these are children. Uh, I, this is, like, American Dragon Jake Long, I think. And, uh, you know, you can just guess where that goes from here. Uh, um, that's fine. That's, that's fine. Um, yeah, I'm not seeing too much more of this that's, like, brain-related, though. It's, it's ear-related. I think there's other people being, like, recommended here. Uh... There's like a near automata. There's another Teen Titans. Daria. Huh. Yeah, fucking Daria. How about that? Um. Yeah, there's like various random animes. There's a Star Butterfly one. There's one with Wendy. Wendy and chat. You know what, Ronald? I think you aren't all that useless. You're useful as a Q-tip at best. She's been swabbing him for two hours. Um. Right. That's a good... This is maybe a good emote face. I don't know. Um. Yeah, that's... That's fine. I'm not seeing too much on here that's... Uh, again, that's brain drain related. If I look at one of these... Look at the side... There's other suggested deviants like Admiral DT8, who has two and two point eight million page views, but all of his art is like subscription. You have to like pay his pay him money to see his great art. Um, well, this is probably also some kind of weird sex predator, but it doesn't look like it. T Man fifty six thirty six. Yeah, more. Not brain drain people. I wonder if there's a way to see, like, his... Okay, his favorites. This guy, Yaru, used favorites. Um, we got some of these that are being marked as un inappropriate. Uh, oh, I'm not logged in. Oh. Uh, maybe You know what? That's maybe for the best. Uh, usually, I, usually I sign in for this, but yeah, that's fine. Um, blind date. And, uh, yeah, it's a little tiny man entering a lady's uh, ears um, and uh, yeah you know I guess this is romantic he's speaking directly to her like brain I guess her eardrum um, that's so romantic you know sweet nothings uh, something like that um, here's one with brain I bet she gives good brain. Hang on. Um, test subject number 34. This time I used a very special girl. Her name is Seraphine. I feel so strange. Where am I? I have implanted millions of micro-persons all over her body. They have spread rapidly throughout her body, as they have the Zon nanotechnology that I have given them so that they could install themselves correctly. Not only on the outside, they are also distributed inside the body. Stomach acids serve as the main source of energy. Um, yeah, in her brain and everything. Um, right, right. So, uh, this is a fetish. And this is a new one. This is a new one for me. Uh. This, father, this fucker... This fucker watched that episode of uh, Futurama with the worms and the sandwich. They got some ideas. They got some real ideas. Yeah. 
I don't, I don't like it. I don't like it. Well, I think I'm good on that. I don't need to see any more of this. I'm um, not enjoying it. Not enjoying it. I think I uh, think I'd like to move on. Uh, that's uh, <laughs> frankly kind of disturbing. Not a fan. Not a fan. But thank you for sharing, though. Uh, five bucks from Vorty Vort. As a longtime fan, thanks for streaming on my birthday. Oh, happy birthday. Helps pass the time while I'm pulling an all-nighter. Uh, you know, that's good. I'm happy to be there while you're doing that. I don't know why you're doing that, but, uh, you know, best of luck to you while you're doing that. Um, that is five American dollars, it seems like, so I wonder, like, where, where, where are you pulling this all-nighter? Um, oh, I don't know. It's fine. It's fine. You don't have to say, but it's just, that's, if it was, like, five bucks from Denmark or something, then it would be like, okay, yeah, maybe it's nighttime there, but I'm just I'm a little confused, but it's fine. It's fine. You don't have to, you don't have to go into any detail. Um, but but happy birthday, happy birthday, uh, happy to, happy to uh, happy to help. Um, Ten bucks from King Crimson Red for the win. Taylor Swift Red for the lose. It's a good name. I like that. Thanks for the streams. By the way, wait, where does the bothering Wario thing come from? It's Game Dude. It's Game Dude. It's uh, Game Dude said for some. I I think it was like a. Uh, Mario Kart video or something something was happening on the screen and he was like he's bothering Wario and I just I I really enjoy that I don't know um but he also the other thing was what a pointless inconvenience barely worth mentioning and it's like it's hard to do a game dude uh, like accent it's hard to do his his game reviewer tism accent you know but he had a very specific way of speaking which is not not easy to imitate not easy to imitate so, you might not immediately tell with that, but, you know, that's game, dude. That's a classic. Um, also, are you going to catch Adrian Bellew's Beat Tour? Uh, I'm not familiar with that. I mean, maybe, potentially. Um, shit, who's Adrian Bellew again? That thing sounds familiar. Is that, is that, oh, yeah, yeah, King, King Crimson. Right. Uh, you know, I, maybe. I, I don't know. It wouldn't be like a super high up on my list kind of thing, but uh, you know maybe. I, I, you know I like King Crimson, but they're not like my favorite band. Uh, it's too hard to find like an era of King Crimson because th their fucking lineup changed with like every album basically. So it'd be like, yeah, I really like this one album, and then the next one's totally different, and then the one after that is totally different. And they're all pretty good, but like I don't know. I guess I you know I, I don't mean to be a pleb. Everybody likes. Uh, Court of the Crimson King, but I just really like Greg Lake as a singer, so that's always been like my my fav my favorite era was 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 when Greg Lake was involved. But you know, Red is good. Or Red is also good. Uh, I'll, I'll give you that much. Uh, uh, two bucks from Tivy Two Vs. Harman has some fun sounding new videos. Check it. I'm good on Harman today, but I'll look into him at some point. He's he's gonna be a recurring guest. Five bucks from Glarn Boudin as someone who works in a museum and with a masochistic streak. I'd love to see you look over some dinosaur conspiracy theories. They get nuts. Uh, I mean, if you have specific ones, I, I don't know. I mean, if I look up dinosaurs, it's probably... Problem with... <sighs> problem with YouTube, I get so fucking sick of it. Like, if I... Dinosaurs, what do I look up? Like, aren't real? I, I don't know what the conspiracy... I, well, I wouldn't even know where to begin, so the only thing I'd look up would be dinosaurs... And it would just bring up little kids stuff and inexplicably probably Indian videos. Uh, yeah, little kids stuff and well, no Indian videos yet. But uh, there is there is there is Asmund Gold. Asmund Gold also showed up. Yeah, I wouldn't really know what to look up. Um, I know there's people out there with dinosaur conspiracies, but I mean, I, I don't think typing in conspiracy afterward would really would really bring too much. Um, uh, I, I'd be willing to look at it though. Five bucks from M and Metfees. Claw, I just discovered a new user last night. He's called Disney Knights Padilla. I personally recommend Corona Hopper. I think you did post about that. Yes. Let me um, see where that was here. Um, Corona Hopper. Yes, yes, you did. You did post about that. Let's see. Thirteen thirty-nine here. Hopper's not infected with the coronavirus, so he can spread it around the Disney Knights under Zerg's orders. And I guess this is one of the Disney Knights, I guess. Well, gang, it's almost Easter tomorrow. All right, we've got users, everybody. Let me bring out the fucking bingo. We got to bring out the bingo. Hang on. Where's the bingo? 
Okay, get yourself a new bingo. Refresh your bingo, I will do the same. Bottom right, click the thing, click new. There you go, new bingo. This user. Um, okay, all right, well, it seems like it could be a good bingo. Let's, let's, let's go. That means every kid in this entire block is gonna be searching for Easter eggs. He's a grown up. Yeah, yeah. it's like Christmas and Halloween mixed together, without the spooky parts. It's not even just a grown up. It's like they almost always have this same type of voice too. It's not even. It's not just that it's like a guy who sounds like an adult. It's that it's it's never like a guy. It's never like a guy who sounds like this. It, it's it's never like, you know, it's never somebody with like a, a more characteristic voice than just, Hey everybody, I'm here with more cartoons than I like. They all they, they very frequently seem to have this voice. Yeah, and the best part is everyone has been vaccinated after the, the events of the anniversaries. Yeah, the COVID anniversary, your longtime nemesis. My arch nemesis is coronavirus. Yeah, the, it has to be your number one enemy since you're a doctor and they're just a plague. Otherwise, you're nothing what? without a worthy opponent. You know, at least the dwarves faced the plagues for opponents, except they were mosquitoes. Oh, God. It's like fucking... What's his name? Jordan says it's uh, Sailor Moon Red One. Just holding up his, uh, holding up his dolls and playing with them. Um, so coronavirus is involved here. I guess they they're trying to infect the coronavirus, and these are Disney's knights. This is this is Kingdom Hearts, everyone. Yeah, I heard mosquitoes are viruses. Even I met one back at the Tough Bug Bar. Really? Well, whatever it is. That Literally, not even an attempt to do a voice or anything. Just. Everybody is just, yeah, oh, I bet about the bar. Really? Yeah. Good, good. I mean, he knows which character is speaking, right? So it's fine. It's fine. That could be lead to flick. At least we're going to have fun tomorrow. I still wish Roger and Judy would make an appearance because I feel like getting them to know each other. Well, maybe some other time if it's yeah, correct. Maybe this is the... Maybe this is the COVID, the, the, the dinosaur conspiracy theory, right? The COVID hypnotized us all into thinking dinosaurs were real. They didn't exist before this. You can't find evidence of dinosaurs before COVID made us all dream that dinosaurs were real. Correct. Why you want Roger Rabbit and Judy Hopps to meet each other, Woody? I don't know, because they're both rabbits. Except there's one thing they don't have in common despite... What the fuck is happening? Despite they solved cases. Oh yeah, what's that? They both don't seem to date other rabbits that's based on their kind. Because What the fuck is going on, chat? We got rabbit dating, we got coronavirus, we got uh Mr. Incredible. What's going on? He's married and her boyfriend's a is just a vixen. Nick. Just huh? a vixen. You wouldn't really usually call a guy a vixen, but alright. Um Ominous silence or long pauses. Can we... It, like, I know we already have, like, speech impediment, but he doesn't have a speech impediment. It's just... It's just, like, the user voice. That could be a good space. Like, the... You know, do, I, I don't know how you would describe it other than just that voice. The user voice. Because that's one that should be on here. Um, let's see. Actually frightening, not really. Yeah, I've got like nothing on this bingo. It's classic, classic Deadwing Dork bingo card. I got nothing. I got fucking nothing. Got fucking nothing. And by married, you actually meant... Maybe he has no shirt on. He might have no shirt on. He was engaged by a human soon named Jessica. Yeah, but I wonder what's her first name before that. I don't know, but I didn't expect her to be real. I think her first name's probably Jessica, dude. Flesh. Yeah, me neither, but it doesn't matter. At least, instead, it's better they just act like cousins. Yeah, I had cousins once. Really? Yeah. You know, where's Stitch? Because he should be there 
with our Easter plan. I wouldn't change speech impediment to user voice because I think there's all that's both. I mean, they might have someone might have both or might have just one or 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 both. You know, one of either. Uh, you know, Sonic Sega Gamer doesn't really have a, a speech impediment, but he does have a user voice. There's a lot of people we see who do clearly have like a speech impediment. I would say just, I mean, just maybe add a new one for for user voice there. Uh, that would probably be because I, I I do I do think we've seen people who probably have both. I just wonder if there's a better way to describe user voice than than how how we're describing it. Uh, you know, just as because anyone who's new to the thing, they're not going to know what that even fucking means. Uh, I, I want to be nicer than saying the tism voice, but I mean, I think that might be more descriptive. That might be, I don't know. Whose feelings are we trying to protect here? Just call it the tism voice. It's fine. Finding conversation. Oh, Ax so, uh, what, what's going on? Oh God, what's going on? What the fuck's happening? There with our Easter planning conversation. Oh, He's got a shirt on. So, uh, 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 uh. Hey, Stitch, what's wrong? Oh, it's and just Stitch. Okay, I thought he was breaking out into fucking tongues. Sorry. What are you doing with Nemo? Nemo, sick. He's what? Monotone voice, I guess? Sure. Yeah, I mean, monotone. But it's more It's more than just that, though. Because it is, there's also like, Hey, everybody! Like, it's not just that they're monotone. It's that they have, like, a certain... It's a certain cadence. I would say, like, I like accented autism, maybe. Or, or or autism accent. I heard Patricia Taxon referred to uh, autism accents at one point. So, you know, uh, that's that's probably that's probably the actual accepted slang. I think maybe just go with that. Let me scan him. Scan User him, inflection. Ooh. It appears to be he's infected with the coronavirus. I am, but I thought I was cure. You vaccinated me. So why are Stitch and the fucking Nemo fish like glued together? What what's this about? Uh, I, I, I are they supposed are they? I don't know why they're like. Looks like Stitch is holding the Nemo fish and the Nemo fish is dead. You know. But yet I, I don't feel so good. They oh. are there and kid. You'll oh well, be... they've got Corona, so yeah, that that explains. All right, Flick, don't touch him. Why not? It's just if you. Whoever touches the victims, you start the COVID-20 all over again. COVID-20? COVID oh, no. Yeah, just in case there's a new phase we need to we need to be cautious about. And I don't want any one of us to get sick. God, I just don't want the version of Toy Story that's like this, where instead of Andy, maybe it is just Andy, but he's like a grown adult. And he's just like, he's he's gone full... Sailor Moon Red One. He's just using little Bo Peep and being like, Bo Peep says, I like having sex with older men. You know, and then he leaves the room and they just all have to fucking like deal with it. Nobody's happy. Nobody's happy in that scenario. It's, it's. Yeah, I understand. Very Woody. sad. Very sad. What's wrong, little guy? Why are you feeling so ill? I don't know. It's just yesterday, I was just playing video games with Oliver, and then the next morning, I I was feeling ill, and and I didn't have the strength to ask Bay masks for an. Yeah, March thirty first, twenty twenty four. This is, this is brand new viewing. This is you know, I mean, it's like a week ago, but it's just uh, I don't know. This is this is this is this is always coming. They're always coming. There's ones from ten years ago that are like this. There's ones talking about coronavirus, though, in 2024, you know, like, people are making, pe people have been making these doll videos, the adults have been making these types of videos for a long time, but, yeah, 2024, we're talking about Hopper from Bugs Life has coronavirus, and he's giving it to people. Apparently around, like, halfway through this video, I think it gets religious or something, let's see, let's see, come on now. Hey! No one does that to my friend! Ah! Uh oh. <sighs> Can't believe how selfish you are. You, you want a piece of me? What he's oh. gonna kick P Pixar Bugs Life Hopper's ass, okay? You know, you don't fuck with his friends. Because you don't know anything about hearts or love. Alright, cowboy. Bring it on. Because this desert plague's gonna bring you out. 
Well, this desert ain't big enough for the two of us. Oh my God. Yeah. Oh boy, desert showdown. Yeah, isn't that familiar? Hey, Woody. We're good, we're good. Hat. Yeah, throw Thanks. him his hat, he needs it. All right. It's the source of You're his powers. Going down, Hoppy. Or oh, we'll see about So ho Hopper, so now, but what I don't understand though is the description says Hopper's not infected with coronavirus, so he can spread it around what does that mean? How does he spread it if he doesn't have it? I don't know what Hopper actually did. Are they just being racist to Hopper? That, and there's no way you're gonna infect everyone else. Psh, oh, ah! Yeah, psh, oh. I must warn you, I'm the roughest, toughest sh shooting sheriff <laughs> in the West. <laughs> you got to it eventually, buddy. Really, I lived in the West once. Ugh. Except I don't have any guns, but here's my best shot. Yeah. Oh. And I won't stop until. Well, at least this isn't okay. I don't know where does the religion come in. Jared, off, you still come back. So like you don't know when quit means. I already know what quit means. Incredible. It means that's enough for now, and I will rest this once. It's not. I, what it I want to get to where God shows up. Means it means. Does he have a God action figure? Be gone. How ah. many parts of articulation does the Jesus action figure have? My eye. Ah. Okay, now you're gonna get it. World star. World star. Now you're mine. Soon after that, Flick and I, we're gonna have a heck of a time. Yes. Uh, true, in this scenario, I think he is God. That makes sense. I mean... So, does the religion wind up being his toys, fall, you know, praising him and con constructing a church t devoted to him? Come on. Why can't I crush you? I'm almost there. Just let me... I got news flash for you. You're a grasshopper, and grasshoppers are not predators! Yes! Oh. Buzz! Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, buzz. Cool. Uh, that's some good. Is these like Godzilla slippers? Those are nice. That's pretty epic, dude. I like them. I like them. They're good. They're good. <sighs> um. So I don't know where the Jesus comes in, but this is Disney Knights Padilla or Padilla. We got small soldiers curse in Chucky Land. You know, um, we got Warner Tunes, Son of Kong, uh, and then this is him, I guess. Wait, Tamatoa is involved. Well, you're about to see. He has user face too. He looks like he looks like Captain Alex if he was out of the chair. In this Chinese restaurant is gonna be a challenging. What I am unable to see this. This crab is still alive, and I'm deceased. Bring it on, um, how do I call you, Mr. Krabs? I'm gonna see it's still alive. They're like zombies. I don't know how this, it's still radioactive, but look at this guy. They're still radioactive, chat. See, he's like still moving. His arm's missing. There's his I hope he gets pinched. I hope they start pinching him. We we st we had a fight with giant enemy crabs last night in D and D. So, so I hope he gets a pinch, just like just like our P Peter the Griffin got pinched. God damn it! Of his arm now. How gross is that? Oh my God. Yeah, he's just messing. He's bothering the crabs. You know, they're like their arms are falling off. These are all suffering crabs. And he's just kind of fucking with them with tongs. It's it's not it's not something you would tend to do, really. But uh, you know, he uh, he probably doesn't know that. He probably doesn't recognize that he he shouldn't be doing this. Uh, yeah, give me a handshake. I don't know what meal you're she's gonna get. Doc Gok or Ursula's favorite crab meal? Oh, for God's sakes. Um. Right, right. Disney Knights Padilla. We got uh, Ursula over here. One of the worst bosses, sets of bosses in Kingdom Hearts 1, which is really saying something, you know? That whole game. 
mostly pretty bad bosses. And, and, and Ursula manages to be two of the not-so-great ones in, the, in, that, in that selection. Uh, Disney Knights of the Centuries. I mean, I think most of it is just going to be toys. Um, yeah, it's it's mostly toys. And I mean, I'm sure there's some... There's some probably some comedy value to this, but... Uh, I'd really like a rant video. That's what I need, is a rant video. Kip Killigan gets electrocuted by Chucky. Um, yeah. Um, Toon Show, Valentine Chat. What is this? Well, happy Valentine's Day, guys. Yeah, me too. I wish I could say the same to your wife if Mrs. LeBron was there. I don't think she's going to be coming soon. I really want to get to know her and your daughter. She seems like a, like my only biggest fan. She's my been only biggest fan. She's... So my only biggest fan. First saw you. Yeah, for what version exactly? Daffy. <clears throat> so, what do you want to do tomorrow? You want to go out for a game? Um, a ga Jesus fucking Christ, chat. I'm not, uh... I'm good, I'm good. Uh, I get it. He has the dolls, and they're playing, and he has dolls, and, and they're playing. And that's great. I'd love to see more of him on camera, but I don't know if he does a lot of that. No live stuff. No more shorts with like that. Uh, that's unfortunate. It would be nice to see more like that, but uh, you know, maybe there is somewhere. I don't know. Uh, he doesn't really have a bio or anything. Been around since 2017. Oh, uh, but he does have a community page. Uh, not too much going on here. Just sort of like, you know like MS Paint memes and stuff. The Disney Knights and the Lady Toons both understand their pains. Unlike yours or everyone else's studios, we're not as too popular as much neither our fans care for us. The only thing studio and new writers ever did was give us our minor roles no matter how much honor and heroism we give. We never got our own musicals, extended sequels, action figure sets, and appreciation. Isn't Aladdin in there? I think he got some ex fucking extended sequels and shit. Um, the only fans who still care for us are autisms. What? The only fans who care for us are autisms. I'm going to say, I'm going to mark that as call something else cringe. I'm going to say that's what that is. Um, and Disney is overrated for females, no matter how older, younger, or different they can be. And then over here, you've got some um, Looney Tunes females instead. I'm sure the bingo's covering it up, but, you know, you're missing a, a pink Tweety Bird down there. And the, like, girl... Uh, Pepe Le Pew harasses. You're, you're missing them. Um, here I thought you were just like Daffy, S Slyvester, and Tweety. I'm sorry I know how you feel, but unlike your girlfriends, all we ever wanted was our own short films. But every year, Warner Bros. are only interested in mischief and chaos for men, rather than true love. We always get replaced, misplaced, betrayed, and double-crossed. They will never honor us either until a true fan stands for us, whether it's a girl or a boy. Um... Well, these seem like two very unrelated statements, you know, that's the thing, is like, I, I feel like the two of them were both saying very different things, and they kind of aren't related. Um, also, one of the guys in this selection of characters is a, is the dude from Moana, which like, I kind of, I mean, they're making a remake of it, you know, we're kind of past the era of direct-to-DVD sequels, I don't know what this guy's after. There's like, there's also the, uh, the Little Mermaid guy. I, they had they had sequels to Little Mermaid, you know? I, I think they did. Um, yeah, the rest of his thing here. Let's get dangerous, you know. It's just stuff like this. It's nothing too too notable. Um, we do have... Ka oh, you do have kaiju versions of Bugs Bunny as Godzilla. I see, I see. Right, okay. Um, general Grievance. Yeah, the autisms. Yeah. Spider Man versus Truck Goblin. Spider Man meets Ernest Electro Man. Like Ernest 
goes to electricity school or something? I think so. Yeah, Ernest the Electro Man. It's it's that Ernest, Ernest P. Worrell. Right. Very cool. All right. Well, that's Disney Knights Padilla. Um, he's got a he's got a good good community page there. Uh, uh, thank you. Now, unfortunately, he doesn't have he doesn't have any friends. That's a real shame because um. Um. Oh god, he has one that's like small soldiers and it's an hour long. Jesus Christ. Yeah, he doesn't have any friends. Uh <clears throat> which um you know, he doesn't have like a list of my best friends on YouTube kind of thing. Uh which is kind of what you hope for in these scenarios. Um but you know, this was this was pretty good. Um I'll take a look here. I'll probably go for like a little bit longer, just a little bit. Um we got some C Z Ninja Ghost Reaper. Yeah. Yeah. Hang on. Um Tony Talks Stop Bullying Jaden Animations. What's this? It's from two years ago. Um Oh, see okay I see why you linked this one. Uh this one was from um kinda all right meat. I think that's the same one who linked uh uh yeah uh, the the user the penultimate user the um <clears throat> the primordial user the the guy who kept saying user every second um um like this one and 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 this is from a channel called autism tony which is a shame of a name i don't know if you want to go with that name i mean i'm just i'm just saying but i guess autism tony Tony talks. Stop bullying Jaden Animations. You know, I sometimes think that most of the comments on YouTube are written by retarded kids. Hey, you can say that, actually. I think you can. Hello, everyone. Autism Tony here. Today I'm going to be Hi, talking autism. about something that's been going on. Autism in... Tony. I assume it's autism for short. YouTube. I wonder if he saw Jurassic World Dominion with his grandpa. So... This has something to do with the Jane Animations backlash. Oh, Jesus Christ, where's my chat? Jane Animations is one of my favorite YouTubers. I mostly watch some of her video game videos, like her Pokemon Nuzlocke, Kaizo Mario. Uh -huh. Yeah, you know all that stuff. And okay, here's the thing. I don't really care much about, you know, Jaden Animations stuff. I, uh, I'm not familiar particularly. But, uh, oh, okay. So, okay, he made that and he didn't do much else. All right. That's like the only that's Tony Talks one and he did not do a Tony Talks two. That's unfortunate. Alright, well maybe we will. You know, I sometimes Arrow Ace. And uh, I was one of the people who was actually fine with it. Now the thing about it's it It's a good thing that you were fine with that. Um I, I don't know, I guess this one might not be super interesting. I think it's just the fact that his name is Autism Tony is what got me here. But uh that's you know, that's fine, that's fine. Uh, he seems he doesn't seem to be it seems to be a fine, you know, a fine opinionated video. I just think that the name Autism Tony with the red Sonic is pretty funny. Uh, but but that's 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 fine. Uh, let me see here. Um, um, I'm just going through my list of stuff I got here. Uh, we got the fucking Jesus-y Goku stuff from yesterday. Uh, we got this one. I think this is, I think this might be a user. Uh... The Black Cauldron, 1985. The Rescuers, 1997. Whisper sound. Um, I don't know what that means. A classic adventure is coming to video. So exciting! Walt Disney's 20. Okay, okay, so it's a right. Yeah, it's a it's a trailer for a movie. Thank you, thank you. Glenn Close. What is this? What the fuck is this? This is just movie trailers for a minute and a half from Sherry Heath. Sherry's berries. Um. Oh, I love when they have upcoming ones. Like this stuff is planned in advance. Burger cheese sandwich. You are rule. And I just. Life has always been full of change, but 
with the growing sense that we are entering He just watches TV and records it. And I'm Michaela Daniels, your I'm host Michaela. for tonight's Saturday Night Cinema airing of Fences. Is this like old recorded television that he's playing on his VCR? An American period drama film. No, 2016. This just looks like shitty quality. From 2016. And he's got a bird. Denzel Washington produced. I'm not dealing with the bird. All right. Well, um, I don't know what the fuck is going on here. You thought they wiped them out. You thought the world was safe. You thought wrong. Jody's here. Oh no. Oh, this is some this is some insanity. These are some insanity problems. Let's refresh the bingo real quick. Hang on. Do I have insanity problems? Do I have insanity problems? Let's see here. I don't. I don't. I have insane recording method. Yeah, fuck it, whatever. Uh, let's see. Uh, it's, it's, it's nothing. I got nothing. Great, great. What are we listening to? What the fuck is this? Jody's here! I think this is a phone... This is like a pre. Yeah, this is um. This is like a pre iPhone, like mobile phone, like Nokia phone type of thing. Screen capped, I guess, or maybe just photographed, uh, and and printed out or or something. And it appears that there's like two teenage girls in the video. Founder of founders of something, Kel Kelsey and Maddie, they're their names. Uh, I don't know what the fuck is happening though. That's special. There he is. Oh, it's his voice. It's his voice. That's special agents. Something very odd has happened. Oh, okay. It's a thing where he watches TV and he's memorized every line of whatever the thing is he's recorded. Yeah, this is this is this is absolutely uh, insane. Yeah. Uh. uh... You can kind of make him out here. He's clearly an adult. You can kind of make it out. It's like sideways. Is that him? Like recorded over this? Him just... Is that what we're listening to? Yeah, it's like playing from his phone or something. Reminder that the title of this video is You Thought They Wiped Them Out. You Thought the World Was Safe. You Thought Wrong. Oh, never mind. It's a video game. It's from the Independence Day, PlayStation, Sega Saturn, and Windows 95 uh, ad, I think. I think that's from that. Okay. It sounds very ominous, but I think it's just for the Independence Day game. Yeah, he said it. He said it. Coming soon to PlayStation. What the fuck is happening, though? I mean, like, what does he think this is? What does he think this is? I I I don't know, man. There is my cousin Puduardo. I I don't know, man. I want to see more of him. I want to see him on on camera. I want to see him talking to us about his life and his dreams. It's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. Here's Goo Goo Gaga. To work with one's hands. Hello, I'm Amna Nawaz. And I'm Jeff Bennett. Thank you for watching PBS NewsHour right here on Idaho Public Television. Uh-huh. Watch...
We're just watching the news, eh? Is that right? As a silent film star who dreams of a comeback. Oh, cool bird, dude. Um, right, well, this is uh, um, absurd and insane, and I don't know what's happening, but it's scary, and I want off the ride. He's got shorts. There's some shorts. It's all the same stuff, though. To the tie left. Quick shot. That oh, very good short. Thanks, YouTube. Glad that works. My favorite part of that is how it works so well. Um, um, yeah, that's uh, Sh Sherry's Berries. That's Sherry Heath. Um, let me take a look. There's a couple more super chats here. Um, let's see. 20 bucks from K Sensei. Thank you very much. If allowed to suggest users who so happen to beef with me. Oh. Blitz the so Bits the Sonic fan. New Gen Nitro. Been weird with me since I was a kid and Schizo acts as if we are friends to this day. Plus other beef with kids and strangers. Oh. Oh, that is interesting. Um, well, okay. Uh, one of them is on YouTube. So let me see here. Uh, it's the Sonic fan. It might have been Blitz. Uh, yeah, I'm not seeing bits. Showing results for Elite Sonic Fan. No, I searched for a completely different thing, YouTube! No, that's also not coming up, though. Alright, um, maybe it is Blitz. Blitz the Sonic Fan? It's all one word. Oh, I think this might be it. Alright. Unless there's just another guy with that name. There might be another guy with that name. Uh, you can let me know. K-Sensei, if you're still here. I don't know if you're still here. This seems like it might be who it is. Is this who it is? Why Larry Hughes is a toxic Sonic fan and my perspective on what I know. We've looked at Larry Hughes. That was one of the elusive users. A huser. Um, is this the person? There's another one you mentioned on DeviantArt as well. I can look that up. I'll take a look at chat first. It has a white hedgehog. Ah, it's him. Okay, all right, all right. Th thank you. Thank you for clarifying. Uh, new Gen Nitro. Let me see here. Uh, hobbyist on DeviantArt, right. Um, not much on the bio nothing on the bio uh yeah it seems to be like a mix of uh i i don't really know what there is to say about this i mean okay the art is bad the the art is bad um this is it's just not it's just not very good it's not aesthetically pleasing it does not bring joy um yeah a fan of Mega Man sonic and Final Fantasy and stuff, you get Mega Man X uh, Sonic crossover here, uh, which again just doesn't look very good, frankly. Um, it's also only like part of it. Uh, looks more like a Israeli Mega Man. Um, yeah, so uh, they're, all their Sonic designs have this, these giant feet and like tiny torso. I saw someone, like, le left a comment on their page that was like, I love your unique Sonic designs, and I'm just like, I guess if I just shit into a, onto a canvas, that would technically be a unique Sonic design, I guess. It doesn't need to be good, it just needs to be unique. Uh, that's, that's pretty good. Well, there's not much here. Um, there's no posts or anything. Um, oh no, there is. There is actually, uh, there's some posts, um, there's, there's a few pages of them from 2023. Is this guy doing art theft? Guys, I'm 100% sure he's claiming this as his own art when it's not, and it makes me sick. Can someone tell me who the artist is for this picture? And, uh, it's like, it's like this. Apparently this guy's claiming it's his art, uh. Someone might might be someone might be devious about their art on deviant art. I can't believe it. Um, well, I, I don't know what's going on there, but a Blitz the Sonic fan seems more up my up my alley. I want to know about why Larry Hughes is a to a toxic Sonic fan. I, let's let's find out. Hey guys, what's up? This is Blitz the Sonic fan. If you know this guy named Larry Hughes, 
Yeah, he could have been redeemed while we're talking to Sonic Rush. And I kid you not, what? Sonic Rush was just trying to hear his side. And be- Can we not name ourselves directly after existing Sonic games? Like, this shit's already not confusing enough most of the time. You've got to name yourself Sonic Rush. Well, that's just the name of a Sonic game. What the fuck are you doing? What, what, this is so confusing now. Be open about this situation and just tell him that he could possibly be a good person. What did he do? Fucking ignore- Just grabbed yourself a new bingo, by the way. I think this is new bingo. Um, I wonder if I have any help of a bingo in this fucking thing. I keep, I keep getting bad combinations of cards is the problem. You know? I, 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 it's just, it's just unlock. It's just unlock. Um, I mean, we have a chance for a show to true colors. We're going to do this user. Apparently they beef with children, so I'll mark that one off. Um, trying hard to be cool seems about appropriate for some of those Sonic designs. Uh, no simulated insanity in this one, but maybe the last one. Adult child friendship, because, again, apparently they were, they were trying to be friends with this person since... They were a kid, I don't know, uh, K-sensei, you know, maybe you want to drop some more info in chat, but, you know, we're, we're apparently, this is a full, we're doing a full expose here, it's, it's crazy. Fatherless behavior, obviously. Uh, um, uh, no autistic Tony in this one, so I can't mark this one off, but, um, you know, YouTube, no YouTube kids, no crying. Uh, Sangi needed slash pedo mention. Uh, unflattering angle portrait, okay, okay. Well, some of these things could happen. Let's 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 watch. For that situation as a whole, just just be a straight up asshole, and just this is what he likes. Now it's fine if he's a Sun Alley shipper. I'm fine with that. Personally, Sun Alley is my favorite ship. But seeing how I'm doing ship drama in 2024, like. Wow. He harasses 20, people. 20, it, late 2020, It's the, literally the year it, clear, it currently is, you know? I mean, it's literally last year when you made this video, actually. And it's, and, and people are still shipping Son Alley. It's, it's BS. It's BS. It's Stop just BS. bizarre to me. Because it's like, it's okay to not like something, but at least try to respect someone, someone's life over it. Like, good freaking grief. He chooses to basically pick fiction over reality and harass people over fictional characters. Things that aren't real. Like a fucking... So Larry Hughes is someone that we looked at a little while ago. I think he's, uh... He's another person who's been, like, run out of the fucking community because uh, hundreds and hundreds of children, and I guess adults maybe like this, uh, have been... Uh, making videos about him for a long time, talking about how he's the worst part of the Sonic fandom, he's awful. And I can't tell that myself, because his videos are gone, but everything I've seen of him, he doesn't seem to be... He's just kind of like a an autistic guy who's into waifus. Like, it's not... It's probably a little bit annoying, but he's not that bad, you know, compared to some of the people that are out there. Complete, compared to that guy who may, who who bought a, a a Sonic plushie off of eBay and then proceeded to like serial killer mail its limbs back to the the seller one by one, you know, uh, you know, talking about how he he sinned again last night and things like that. Uh, I think that guy's worse. That, that guy might be worse. Was that Jay Sonic? I think that was Jay Sonic. Uh, this is, uh, Larry Hughes was nowhere close to that level, as far as I could tell. But there were still hundreds of fucking videos made that were, like, people like this just, He's the bad Sonic user, and he's stupid. And, you know, it's like, oh, well, alright, I'm sure he's not great, but, you know, you're not making a case for yourself here, either. Child, for God's sake. The fact that he did that, ignore the fact that he's not the, he's harassing these people and playing the victim. When these people are just giving him a taste of his own medicine, and reflecting the same energy back, for God's sake. And then when he- So apparently this guy's been like, let me read the super chat again. Um, Blitz the Sonic fan, New Gen Nitro, been weird with me since I was a kid, and Schizo acts as if we're friends to this day, plus other beef with kids with, with kids and strangers. This must be some of that beef. Um, yeah. 
Uh, I don't know. Were they also kids at the time? He doesn't sound like he's that old, but he does sound like he might be an adult. Not too much in the way of YouTube videos. Lots of, uh, lots of shorts, though. Ah. Uh, yeah. Uh, lots of shorts. Larry Hughes needs to stop a short sum up and the never-ending cycle. And Chris Chan is here. such a useless fucking this website doesn't work watch our shorts on youtube shorts and you'll click on one and it'll just play a different one it'll just play a different one go fuck yourself hey. yeah just gonna play a different one awesome awesome maybe maybe it is this one okay it is Hi, everyone. all right it's just a little confusing never mind this new well, it does still do that a lot of the time but this was just confusing the nitro aka okay, let's the sonic fan so apparently like that loud like that loud music do i have loud music do i have butt rock i do a loud music there you go there you go we got some we got some chances here maybe we should stick with this for a little bit we might get homophobic and saggy if we if we stay if we stay with this a little bit you have this guy named mary hughes uh -huh. that obsesses over a fictional dead wing he's 30. oh is that so the sussy user is 30. that's no good that's well, that's no good. That's ship. No good. What is that fictional ship? What is the bullshit that's that fictional ship? Is Sun Alley. So apparently, he thinks he's Baron Christian. But when he draws stuff, when he acts stuff, when he acts out, he just... Who is this channel? Sun Alley? Legendary Classics. Is that still on, on DeviantArt? Let me see here. I'm not seeing much from this new-gen Nitro guy, by the way. Um... Legendary classics. I think we tried to find this guy on DeviantArt and he was like taken down. Yeah, I'm not finding. I'm not finding it. There's a bunch of fucking Power Rangers shit for some reason. A bunch of Power Rangers shit. All right. Well, no, not finding it. Um, that's a shame. But uh, this acts just as bad as Christian. So it's like, it's a never-ending cycle. Many people told him to stop. Many people made fun of him. And he keeps on... What was he just watching there? Reacting. Oh, I hate this so much. This fucking... I hate this fucking shorts thing. I can't even... I can't even go back a couple seconds. I can't do anything on this fucking short... It's so Tell bad. It. Now the thing is that he could simply walk away. You know, it was it was this. I wanted to see what video he was watching here. Zero Studios ZX. Hang on, hang on. Zero Studios ZX. Zero Studios ZX. Cacho on. Um. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is this is more like it. Oh yeah. Oh boy, it has been a long while since I've recorded nice a Larry, video or, like nice, this, where I'm just nice Larry Hughes video, but nice Iron Maiden shirt, really. Looking into a camera and just speaking my thoughts about a certain topic. But I thought I might do it again, you know, just for nostalgia's sake. And this specific uh, video is going to be about the man of the hour, the ultimate Sonic community harasser, Larry Frickin'. Hughes. Oh, frickin'. Boy, where do I even start with this man? Ah, uh, at the beginning. So, if y'all don't know who Larry Hughes is... What did you, what, what did you need to... What was that? Was that a laugh? So, <clears throat> if you're either like, a new fan who hasn't watched any of my older videos, or you're just, like, uncultured about, like, Sonic uncultured. Community drama... I'm, I'm just gonna do... A... Uncultured about Sonic Community drama. You know... I'm more cultured than I'd like to be, son. That's the thing. Uh, quick explanation. I like that this is from 11 months ago, by the way. It looks like it was uploaded in 20 fucking 14. Over. Real fart. What, what does that even mean? So, Larry Hughes is a very toxic guy within the Sonic community. He's a very um, hardcore classic Sonic fan and Sonali fan who, for some reason, harasses people who even like anything related to like to like freaking modern sonic or like any other ship that isn't sonali yeah 
Yeah, I mean, it sounds like in the heyday of like 2008 or something, this person might have been interesting. This Larry Hughes guy, if he was allowed to become like a Christian or a Spax 3 or something, he might have really flourished. But nowadays, I don't know, He all of his videos I think are gone now. I can't find a channel that's actually his. It's almost all just people talking about him. Which is a really interesting thought if you think about it, though, because, like, it's like, well, if all of your presence on the internet has been removed and all that remains is just people discussing you, that's like how you're survived on the internet. That's how you, the people will only, the only knowledge we can ever have of this guy at this point is videos that other people have made discussing him. No footage of him. I think we might have seen like one or two things maybe from him. I'm not sure. We might have seen something, but it was largely just this. And there's a lot of people like that who fall into this this sort of thing. Um, have we been in portrait mode? I think we might have been in portrait mode. I'm not sure, but I'm going to go bad hair. Um, um, I don't know about unflattering angle. The angle's fine, I'd say. Um, sleepy user or user in bed. He is in bed. The bingo's turning out okay here, actually. This this could be this could be all right. Did I do simulated insanity? Was that this one? No, that would have been the last one. We're not simulating our insanity here. Um, the unforgettable atrocities of the Brony fandom. Oh, this guy might be based actually. Um, Zero Baylock, the Mobian cyborg hedgehog. I'm sitting. No, okay, never mind. Um, um, Right, right. Transformers, Mega Man. Uh, uh huh. It's a lot of it's a lot of stuff. That's a lot of stuff. Son, uh, Sonic RPG Episode Ten Part One. Hello, everybody. My name oh, is. Oh, it's like a shitty video game. I see. That's, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, e yeah. That's Zero Studios X. Just somebody who was being shown in this video down here. I think it was just that video we were watching. Sadam Sonic and Son Alley Forever. I think was the name of this guy's channel. Uh, but it's it's gone now. I think that was him. I'm not sure. But at the end of the day, it's never repeating yeah. cycle bullshit. See you guys. I'm out. Cool, loud music. Man, I know that song. It's Sonic Adventure 2. It's one of the shadow ones. Didn't need to be in that video so loudly. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. A lot of this is just kind of bad art, and there's not that many, like, user rant type things on here. Uh, there probably exists some somewhere, but, uh, I think that's... I think that's fine. I think that's fine. If you're on the Discord, K-Sensei, be sure to, you know, post some more about this, you know. I mean, if you have more... If you have more info, I am interested about these people, like, apparently, like, they, they're claiming to be your friends or something. I mean, you know, feel free to post it if you're on there. Uh, I, I would be interested. Just based on what I'm seeing here, though, it's, it's mostly just bad art that I'm seeing here. Uh, I'm sure a lot of the... A lot of the, uh, you know, the actual stuff... Is probably not exactly, you know, publicly on the pages here. It might be in a Discord server or something. But you do say he's 30. And, uh, you know, given this type of type of behavior and the type of people surrounded in that community, you say you were a kid, you say there's other kids. That's, you know, that's concerning. So, yeah, I mean, if you have more info, maybe, you, you know, feel free to, to bring it up. I would be interested. Um, uh, at this point, I think I'm probably going to stop the stream, read the last few Super Chats, and, and call it here. I'm getting a little tired. I got a podcast later. I got to do some other stuff. So that's uh, it's, it's probably good timing. Uh, five bucks from Peak Soup. Hi, Claw. If you ever decide to stream a game again, I recommend uh, you, Hypnospace Outlaw. The game is about moderating users and it has rant videos. Well, I remember Vinny played that. I, I think I watched some of it. I was going to play it at one point. I think it was on the Xbox Game Pass thing. I had it installed and then I never played it. Uh, and then I, now I think it's gone from Xbox Game Pass, but um, I was going to play it. Yeah, I, I know that's granny creams, hot butter, ice cream and all that. I'm, I'm, I am aware of it. I didn't know it, it had much in the way of users. I mean, the next user related thing I'm going to play is going to be Kingdom Hearts 2. So, you know, uh, that's 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 also connected. But, uh, you know, uh, at the very least, I would play that on my on my downtime, maybe. Yeah. Uh, 
Maybe not on stream. Maybe on stream. You know, uh, could go either way. I, I've been thinking about playing Yik 2 on stream or whatever it is. It's like Yik Royal, I think. Um, uh, five bucks from Cobalt64. Not exactly cringe, but the channel Meme Analysis is just the kind of schizo stuff that makes my day. Well, let me see for next time, maybe. Uh, meme Analysis. Uh, it auto-corrects with skibbity. Meme analysis skibbity. Um, well, I don't know. Is this, uh, this seems like a, this seems like it might be a channel I would just actually watch, though. Uh, um, potentially. Uh, well, I'm not sure, though. I'm, I'm not sure. Um, mystery of the hedgehog, whimsy, magic, <laughs> memes. Yeah, uh, maybe not. Maybe I wouldn't watch this necessarily, but, uh, he, uh, well, I, yeah, maybe for next time. We could take a look at this for next time. How the Internet Destroys You. It's a playlist with 12 videos. Meme analysis. All right, well, maybe next time. Uh, five bucks from Braden A. I, I sometimes worry about all the hundreds of hours wasted in FF14 that I see these fucking videos and feel way more productive and normal. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, I mean, again, I've always said these types of streams that I do, these are good feel, these are feel good streams. Thank God I'm not that guy, you know, I might be living in my own feces, you know, but at least I'm not happy about it, you know, you know what I mean? That's, that's, that's the, that's the right perspective. Five bucks from Glarnboot and Dinosaur Nephilim has a bunch of good video results. I'll put some in the milk bar and for you claw, they're all on the shorter side. Well, then in that case, I'll I'll look at them next time. Uh, thank you. I've got a thing on, on... I got like a sidebar on Discord now that's just has video in Milk Barn. So if, if there's something funny, I've, I've got it like, I've got it like set up. I got it pipelined. I got it pipelined. Um, uh, I'll check it out. I'll, I'll be in, I'm, I'll be interested in dinosaur conspiracies. That sounds good. Ten bucks from Lunaus Circuit. Finally got caught up enough to catch you live. Thank you, Clawfather, for all the things to listen to at work. Cheers to you. Cheers to you, Nicola and Bard. You're, you're, you're welcome. I, I hope you have a good work day and uh, all that. Uh, and uh, penis. Uh, two bucks from uh, Emin Metfees. Look, uh, look at the part. Look for the part where Hop Hopper is talking to Zerg. All right, well, before we go, I did want to see where this gets. I wanted to see where that wound up getting, like, religious. So, so, all right, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, before we go. Um, oh, wow, there was another one here that looks good, actually. There's a guy playing with dolls and watching Caillou grounded videos at the same time, even. All right, well, before before we go, then, let's uh, let's see this. So it's, it's Hopper and Zerg here, okay. It wasn't halfway, it was like 30% was like or so here. Can't believe you asked me to... Infect the kid with my little virus you have given me. Of course, I wish it would be a mosquito. Yeah, I wish my family were mosquitoes. Oh. And here I am, just a regular, me too, friendly neighborhood grasshopper. You're not like other grasshoppers, you little twitch. Now listen carefully. I want you, you to little twitch to infect the rest of the Disney nights over here. That way, tomorrow morning before. The so-called Easter arrives. So Children will be Easter. greeting them. But one thing they won't be aware of that they will be infected by a plague. Okay, okay but, but where's Jesus? Is Jesus part of the Easter? The reason why I chose you because have you ever heard of the chaos of the Ten Commandments? Oh, here we go. Here we go, people. The chaos of the Ten Commandments. I haven't. I haven't heard of that. Is that like a Godzilla movie? Uh, I think so. My mother... Actually, no, my dad told me stories about it once. He says that Moses, the speaker for the God of Egypt, well, I know the has Ten infected the lands with three, ten plagues. One has to be frogs, locusts, fire, and yada yada. Locusts, right, right, right. Um, okay, so this is another thing, right? It's like the classic Chris Chan scenario. You get the parents that don't know how to raise the kid who has the problems. And then they also start hammering into the kid a bunch of this wacky, you know, good book bullshit. And so you wind up with this, like, mishmash of, like, this person can't tell fact from fiction. Do we really need to fucking 
do we really need to tell him the story about Jonah and the whale? Is that necessary? He can't. I I don't think that's that's not even fair to this guy. That's 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 not fair. Uh, yeah. Uh, I don't, it's just weird. It's like, it, it's, who forced this person? Who forced this this person to to learn all this stuff in addition to all the Disney stuff? You know, they've already had their lives ruined by Disney. They don't need to have their lives ruined by God too. All that stuff we don't need to mention. But me, a desert plague. Look, I would do that, but I need my crew. I'm nothing without Thumper over here. Forget your little Easter cricket. I want you to torment him. So go ahead, Jiminy Cricket. Touch down this Pinocchio over here. And by that... So, so yeah, it's going to be a biblical plague against the Disney characters. All right, well, I mean... You mean you want me to take out the Marshal over here? Yeah. Yes, this Marshal and his space ranger, my nemesis, both need to suffer. All right. Well, this is still better than Super Mario Logan. I don't know what to tell you. Um, yeah, that's good. All right. Well, that's how it gets religious then. You know, the, the chaos I mean, of the... I was familiar with the Ten Commandments. So I don't know what the chaos of them is, though. But I guess that might be what it is. I guess it's the coronavirus. Um, two bucks from uh, Lined Gear Productions. Reminds me of a YouTube that records a TV in a freezer. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's definitely... There's definitely some insane... That's why we have the space for insane recording methods. Uh, is Sometimes you just get that. You just get shit that just seems... Who came up with this? What happened... What had to be up with you in your brain that you thought that this would be the way to film this video? You know? We get that weirdly often. Weirdly often. It's not even just that, like, oh, you know, someone has some kind of, like, issue. It's like... What is it about that issue specifically that makes them decide to film their video upside down with like weird filters and shit? You know, I don't know, but you, you get you get that. I don't know what to, I don't know what to make of it. Um, uh, two bucks from Ramble Briar. You're pretty rad, Claw. Have some dollary dues. Thank you, thank you. I I will take them and I will uh, I will uh, I will wipe my ass with them. Thank you. That's not true. That's that would be a, a heinous waste of money because the we don't have a dollar bill here. Like I could wipe my ass with a single dollar bill. I think that would be fine. But like yeah, you would have to go with like a you'd have to go with like a a 5 or like change. Change wouldn't work. You wouldn't want to wipe your ass with change. And a 5, I mean even then our money now is like weird and plasticky, so it wouldn't even really be good ass wiping money. You need good American ass wiping money. That's the way the the money should be. When you can't wipe your ass with it, it's like symbolically worthless at that point, you know. Um, let's see, five bucks from K Sensei. If needed, next stream, Deadwing. I can link everything about Blitz slash Nitro. Maybe buried in his community posts, like all his rants and schizo comments. Well, especially Nitro. I didn't see much of anything about him, but uh, uh, yeah, you know, you know, go for it. Uh, maybe do a, a doc, put it on the milk barn and the Discord, whatever you want to do, or something. I don't know. Uh, uh, however you want to figure it out, I, I'm I'm down for it. Uh, two bucks from uh, uh, I read that one. Uh, uh, Cursed Camel with five bucks. I never tune into your streams live. I almost exclusively listen to your archive streams while at work. I love you, Claw. Well, well, thank you. I hope you. I hope that they've been filling your work days with joy, uh, and and however today's day is no longer filled with joy, it's all time. It's all downhill from here, people. It's sadness and misery time. The stream's over. Uh, so thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. I hope it uh, kept you company during work or or whatever. Uh, uh, you know, we'll be back sometime eventually soon, probably. And uh, uh, penis. Uh, take it easy, folks. Penis. Be sure to check out Loud Equals Funny on, 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 on all podcasting services. Patreon. Uh, uh, Spotify also. It's on it's on Spotify. I mean, donate to our Patreon. But but Spotify, it's on there. Apple. Uh, I'm just shouting names at you. Loud Equals Funny. Loud Equals Funny.